Oop, wrong button. Eight. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to welcome to the stream of the Stanley Parable. Hi. Eight. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Eight. 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 Ryan, you got to put this down. Otherwise, you're going to just keep pressing the button. You gotta stop yourself. You have a problem. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> we'll look back at that monstrosity of an intro. And <laughs> just, I want to know how fucking atrocious that was. <laughs> it's not like we're recording. I could just fucking, like, I'm gonna try this thing that's probably gonna sound bad, but I can edit it out if it sounds bad. On stream, it's just like, here we go. Flying by the seat of her pants. Boys, got myself some chocolate coffee today. Mwah, good stuff. At long last, the prophecy is realized. It's true, boys. Finally, after... Uh, no, it might... Uh, has it been a year since uh, Stanley Parable 1? It hasn't been more than that. Well, yeah, because I haven't been doing Twitch for a year. <laughs> That's right. Last stream, we finally had Tifa returning to us. That's what true. glorious day for Imperial Officer. Now back to the game where Ian have a voice in his head telling him what to do. <laughs> and in the last stream, uh, the voice no longer talked. It attacked. It was a glorious stream, though. Uh, but yes, Tifa's finally back on the on the, the duck meter Which, by the way, I... I figured out what I can do for the ducks. I'm just going to add a random duck, and I won't look at it, so we'll get one new duck every time I start up uh, a thing. I just let the meter go, and I just didn't pay attention. I turned it off once it was done. It was a work of art. Fantastic. Making me jealous. Well, if I could, Kinky, I'd get you some, buddy. Well, it really is good. That cream was really good. I'm only doing half cap today, so if I crash, that's what happened. <laughs> also, boys, from what I hear, I think inscriptions could be done tomorrow. If not, it's going to be the next day. It's, from what I've heard from, I remember chat and um, uh, what my friends told me, there's a very good chance that we're getting two new games soon. It's all coming together. Anyways, let's say hi to people. There's a bunch of fine faces here. Hello, Bobo, Ella, Discord for streamers, uh, Foxroll, Kittenya, um, Kinky, uh, Mariah Anderson USA. God bless you. Uh, uh, Sleepy Pup, Suspicious Cabbage, Tennis Padilla. Now, can I find everyone else who it didn't mention? I saw Lexi. Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Good to see you. Rowboat, hello. Who else wasn't on that list? Who else? Sleepy Pup, were you on that list? I think so. Man, that list. I wish it would stop being such a piece of shit. Calvin's. Hello, buddy. Fox roll. Sweet. I see you hiding in the darkness. Hello, Imperial Officer. How are you doing, good sir? If I've missed your day, apologies. <laughs> That's what I get for looking at the list. I should have known that that list is always off by like seven people. Hi, right, Marley. I just got here. What y'all talking about? Eight. Can you read my first comment? Pearl Officer knows that Carl gets lazy and doesn't read the whole comment, so he just said, fuck it. I'll just tell Ryan to read it. Hi, Ryan. Here's the news for today. I finally got a PS5 mic to work. Hell yeah! Well, wait, wait, why wasn't the PS5 mic working? Isn't the can't you just press the button on the controller and that's a microphone, right? Unless you're looking for the whole combo. Oh, it might sound like absolute dog shit. <gasps> Should I hook the PS5 controller up? See how shit it is. That's a tempting. That's a tempting stream idea. Uh, uh, and can stream games with voice audio? Oh, that's a good reason to have a better microphone. So. You will be featured in my stream as a background noise. Also, I have ice cream Sundays early like a true rebel. Hell yeah, Imperial Officer. Well, best of luck to you, buddy. 
Looks like it's gonna rain out today, boys. You may hear a storm a brewing. No, there's a process to it, apparently. Well, good luck, Imperial Officer. Good luck with that. I would just, I'm just gonna hook up my PS5 to the computer if I ever need to stream off that. I'm doing it the dumb way. I'm gonna say, what's this? All these things they're giving me? Fuck you, I'll do what I want. Also, I would feel weird not being able to use this microphone. Though I still don't, I still don't feel I've got the full potential of this microphone. I think I still mess it up. I've really got to play around with it. But anyways, I'm glad you're all here. Hi, Ender. So what's the plan today? You want to visit old endings or you want to go straight new stuff? Straight new stuff, Ender. Straight new stuff. We're only doing new stuff. That's that's the plan. And from what I heard, the new stuff is about double the amount of the old stuff. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Also, if I want to watch the old stuff, I can just watch the stream. <laughs> At least that's what I'm thinking. But anyways, hey, let's get some ducks ready. Oh, wait, before I go with ducks, I wanted to show you guys. So uh, after uh, Sandley... Uh, we'll probably do one of these. I got more for the Lego streams. And it has landed, boys. It has landed. I've got two of the Legos. One hasn't shown up, but who cares? I'm not going to be doing them right away. So my plan is to do this big fucker. We're doing a giant mech this time, boys. And I can have my own my own little tentacle man and a flying black lady. How many people can say they're friends with a flying black lady? I'm just, I was this close to getting canceled. Um, <laughs> so here we go. This is going to be the next one. It's only 385. Uh, so that's the thing here though, boys. See, this was a mistake. This was, this is fine, right? Uh, you want to know what was a mistake? Because this, here's the off-brand one, boys. The giant fucking pirate ship. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this fucking thing. Look how cool that is. It may be off-brand, and I know the uh, the Lego police are going to get me. But why I say it's a mistake is if, if you read right there. It's uh, 1,328 pieces. It took me four streams to finish an 800-piece Lego. <laughs> this thing is going to fucking take me forever. This thing. I had to get it, though. Look how cool it is. I realize, look, it's not even in English. It's not even English back there, but who cares? Who cares? I wanted it. And it was really, honest to God, um, this was more expensive. This was $40. That was $38. So that's why I got it. If we ever want to do big sets, it's got to be off-brand. I am never buying a big <laughs> one of Lego because that's going to cost me $200 renos. But... It is what it is. We also got a, a cool, like, sports car coming as a small one. That was only, like, 15 bucks, so. There you go. There's the update on what we're going to do. I wanted to do more Legos. You know, I don't know if people are super hyped about it, but I am. I had a lot of fun. And I'm going to try to come up with ideas to do with the Lego streams. I think the reason the first one worked so well, even as weird as the fucking confession stream was, and it was weird, and I never consented to it. It just kind of happened. Um, it's a good idea to have, like, a talking point around the entire stream or something to do wall building. Uh, because, you know, it's either no talking or something like that. Uh, but anyways... Building Legos is just the same as smashing your fingers with a hammer. <laughs> Only two pieces. Only two pieces. In the last stream, there was one. There was one piece that was so hard to put together. I, I took it, right? I took a screwdriver and went, bop, 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 until it came in. There was only two. There was only two tiny pieces. They were shit. But they really weren't Legos, right? There were these weird, like... It was a circle and like a rectangle hole, and you had to put the other one in, and it would not go in. Holy smokes, it's getting dark out there. You can see in my face. <laughs> there may actually be a thunderstorm on stream. I mean, if you open up a P.O. box, I will send you Lego sets. 
for free, shocking, also I don't know what to talk about during gaming stream, can you help me? Ooh, well, <laughs> now you know the intense problem of streaming, Imperial Officer. We celebrated Topics. my niece's 10 years birthday today. Heck she yeah! wanted to play Wii Bowling with me and my brother, her dad, and got a bit bummed out when we destroyed her. But that's how me and my bro <laughs> plays games. We play to win and to teach kids the value of losing. <laughs> Dang, Bobo. Um... I, I am going to Imperial Officer. I am. And also technically not free because <laughs> the P.O. Box costs money. But I, I have been thinking about it. I really have. Not only that, I've been doing research, but we've never got out to the P.O. Box area. Uh, but anyways. Also, as far as top Imperial Officer, it's hard. It's hard, especially when you don't have many people watching. You're going to have to learn how to just talk to yourself for a little bit till you see someone and then just make casual conversation it's a it's a song and dance imperial officer a whole ass hell year whoa also i generated undertale is a fucking riot three also hi hello shinzo and thank you for the tier one sub ai generated undertale sounds hilarious by the way yes imperial officer it's not easy <laughs> you just gotta come up with shit outside your ass hence why there's a eight 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 button on me I got Portal Reloaded, which is like uh, a mod for Portal 2 or something. Had a few problems getting the aspect ratio right and got stuck on, like, this sixth test chamber. I found out that Doom 2 on the Switch, they added a bunch of, like, famous mods to the, uh, to, like, any version of Doom and Doom 2. That's what I've been doing. I've been playing those mods. Even though I could do it on my computer, it's just really nice that all I have to do is press a download button on my Switch, which is very unlike Switch material. But Bethesda, two thumbs up. Thank you for that. That's actually really awesome. Hi, Spuddy Booyo. And yeah, by the way, Shizo, it has been a happy year, hasn't it? I can't believe we've been streaming on Twitch for a year now. It feels, uh, I'm, I'm happy. It, I'm happy that it hasn't. The feeling hasn't gone away one year later. I'm still having fucking fun doing streams and creating memes. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but. <laughs> Ryan is gonna. Ryan, I'm going to send you a single cough drop in your P.O. box. At least make it a good one, Kinky. Come on now. I want some honey drops. Come on, buddy. I need that real good. No, no, because that sucker's gonna melt. That sucker's gonna melt in the mail. That's gonna be a disaster. It's going to be a goo storm. That one lost Lego piece is at the same place where the red candy ball is at. It's gone, man. I still haven't found it. It's still, and it's not, the one that bothers me, it's not a big piece. That's why it bug. I mean, it's not a small piece. So why can't I find it? It's gone. It literally went through a portal. It's in another person's dimension. It's an alternate dimension, Ryan's house. I never play games with my nieces and nephews with the mindset of letting them win on purpose, unless my brothers tells me to do so. <laughs> I don't think I let my nephews win either, but I usually just let them play. I, see, here's how I do it, Bobo. I, I play with them, but I let them get cocky, then I destroy them. I wait till they get really, really arrogant about it and then win. That's that's how you're supposed to do it. Then it's a learning experience. Da -da 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 -da. Right? Can you send me a cough drop because I'm dying? If I could, I would, but give you that good honeys. No, I don't have any. Well, no. I I'll show you my absolute favorite cough drops. These things right here. These things right here are a godsend. This, these suckers can make you stop dead in bronchitis. These, these honeys right here, you put this in your mouth after like 10 seconds to 30 seconds. Bronchitis coughs will just stop. And it was, this was a godsend, boys. This is a godsend. Um, the only problem is they're 
fucking hard to get through. They take forever to get through, which is only bad when you're trying to sleep. You have to, like, you have to suck on this thing till it's finished. And it takes, like, 30 minutes when you're trying to sleep. I have dangerously fallen asleep with these in my mouth, uh, which I could have 100% choked and died. Uh, but when you're tired, uh, sometimes things happen. And it sticks to your cheek and you wake up and you have to go, ah! And it feels like you put duct tape in your mouth. Uh, also, the middle of the honeys is menthol. That menthol hits you, you can go, Whoa! And then all your pores open up and you're fine. I really like those. They don't taste very good. They don't taste terrible. The middle is atrocious. It's like a Tootsie Roll pop. If they had like uh, uh, a ghost pepper in the middle. Um, nah, that's an over exaggeration, but just something bad. It's not great. When you drop a Lego, it falls into the back rooms. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Holy smokes, it's dark. Well, we're going to have to just accept that. It is. Oh, we're gonna die. I also tried VO chat for the first time and it crashed after the tutorial. Was it uh, in VR or non VR? Either way, VR chat, yeah. VR chat is a game that is surprisingly a taxing game on your computer. A very taxing game on your computer. Um, it, you can do a desktop, but uh, like VR wise, you get a couple people in there with unoptimized models and you're gonna blow a fuck up. Oh, excuse me. Apologies. Hello again, Bath Salt Squirrel. Hello. Hello, Freak. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Ryan about to get hit by a thunderstorm. While I uh, sit and chat for a little bit. Hope you're doing good, my good sir. In bronchitis. Goddamn, I wish I had those when I had bronchitis. Yeah, dude. They really are strong. Like, uh, remember when I lost my voice, like, a couple months ago? Those are my godsend. Like, you wake up and you have those cough fits, you put them in your mouth. But like I said, the only problem is you calm down and then you fall asleep within your mouth. The only thing that saves you is the actual fact that they stick to your cheek, which is not, it's not safe at all. What's the worst flavored cop drop, in your opinion? These are pretty bad. The middle part, this is the worst. But otherwise, it just tastes like honey. I don't know. I've never had... Cough syrup is the worst. Cough syrup is like... Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. And it never freaking works for me. Also, laughter always ends up with me coughing my whole ass out, lung out. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I can be that way. Non-VR? It's brutal, Marley. I know. Even with it, you're not missing much. You're all right. <laughs> you're all right, Marley. Ryan, what would you do if I named myself Lemon Scented Spoon? <laughs> well, first off, I'd have to mourn over the great name of Kinky Water Otter, the greatest fusion of words uh, to say. It's just it's one of the funnest things to say. I'd have to have a I'd have to have a memorial for it. The lemon scented spoon. It's getting there. It's not kinky water otter level of uh good to say, but it's up there. <laughs> Thunder is always fun. <laughs> it's more of the guess when the stream's gonna end. Go ahead, bet down below when the stream will end. You don't know because <laughs> I might blow up. I live in an area where lightning hitting something and the power going out is very common. Well, not very common. You gotta be at least like two out of a hundred chance. Maybe five. I have to admit, I actually like playing Resident Evil 4 on easy mode. <laughs> nah, you gotta have the fear of God in your heart. It's the only way. Yeah, the cherry flavor ones are not terrible, by the way. I, I <laughs> My problem is I like the taste a little too much. Sometimes I'll suck on another one just because I'm like, that tasted good. I'm going to start sucking on another cough drop. Also, it's duck time. Let's get a little ducks in before, before anything. Then this will light up the world here. All right, so we're going to start off. I have no idea what the newest duck is. I've already dumped a new duck in here. We're going to watch and find out. We got 56. 56 fine quackers. 
I guess I'm the 57th quacker. <laughs> I really want to know what this thing is going to look like once we hit 100. Like, how, how bad is this pool going to get? Because we're already... 56 is quite a quite a hefty load of ducks. I love how Michelle's also right next to Bootley. Of course Michelle's with the ghost. All right, we're getting close, I think. We're getting close. Come on, what's the new duck? What's new? What's new? We got a new one, old one. What's going to happen? Wrestler duck ween weenus, sexual harassment pan duck, five head, the Big gay Tifa. And who is it? Who is it? <gasps> it's the ginger duck. Boys, we got gingerbread duck back. Boys, we got another Christmas friend. We haven't seen this boy in years. Well, since Christmas, but that feels like a year. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the, that we added the Christmas ones back. Oh, my oldest nephew gets super cocky when fuck? playing Mario Kart on the Wii when he plays against his four-year-old brother with no AI on. Mind you, set four-year-old can't play the game. He drives in circles and off the track constantly. <laughs> he can only get a pass to lap. <laughs> uh, pass a lap before losing if I'd help him hold the controller. And if not for a fact the oldest nephew gets genuinely sad after losing Mario Kart, I would play him just to beat him. <laughs> Gingy from Shrek. I wanted to name him Gumdrop Buttons. Can we name him Gumdrop Buttons, guys? Can we please name the, uh, the new one Gumdrop Buttons? You hear that? Oh my gosh, it is 100% picking it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you... I, uh, I don't think it is picking up, but it is, it's dumping right now. It is dumping out there, boys. Sorry, anyways. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to get it and see if you could hear the rain pouring out there. But it is pouring. Alright, I'm naming gumdrop buttons. I don't care. I'm um This is a uh this is a gum drop buttons. Alright, his name is Gumdrop Buttons. There we go. Welcome to the team, Gumdrop Buttons. That's official. That's official. I need the gumdrop buttons, boys. There he is. Look at this butte. Gumdrop buttons. <laughs> Not the gumdrop buttons! Still one of my favorite Shrek jokes. Because I'm an easily entertained monkey. I've lost chat again. Alright, good. Chat was on my side on that one. Heck yeah. When will the Powerable be, uh, told? Um, in a couple minutes. Yeah. I usually start, uh, a half an hour in because I have a bad tendency to talk to everybody because I like chatting with you guys. You guys are my friends. I like you guys. If I, if I, what is that? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> it's slamming over there. If I was Leatherface, I wouldn't cut your face off. I'd give you a new one. If that's not a friendly thing to say, I don't know what is. What is that? <gasps> Pizza duck! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! This is the greatest day ever! Pizza duck! <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's got cum on his head. But pizza duck! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! Oh! 
There was something I realized, by the way. There was one I wanted to find real quick. Hold on. There's one I learned something about. Oh, that pizza duck's fantastic. Where is she? There was one that we debated about last time, and I, I now you are realize that you are 100% correct. But you think I can find her? You! Remember you guys asked me about this duck, and we said, what is this? And somebody said it's one of the Russian ducks? Like the the Russian, like, like piece of parts? You are correct. Because while playing, I don't know how this happened, but she exploded into multiple mini ones. I do not know what set it off, but I was looking around, and all of a sudden there were three baby ones, and I don't know what set it off. Either it was a... And she made sweet, passionate love with Pizza Duck. He didn't exist back then. Pizza time, pizza time, pizza time, baby. Listen, this is by far the best duck we've gotten in a long time. This is the greatest one ever. He's, even if he's not a pizza duck, he is technically a duck that wears a pizza on his head. He is a wonderful piece of work. All right, where is he fitting in this, this grand scheme? Oh, what the fuck? No, that counts as three? All right, well, that's a little annoying that they literally count for three of the choices. Boo! Boo! Don't uh, jip me of two of them just counting the other two. Well, I mean, at least we can name the small ones, boys, once they come out. So it'd be like Bim, Dim, and Jim, and then they all come out. But either way, Pizza Duck is new duck. I think he's a rare... But yeah, I'm sorry to say, that is pretty big boo. We lost two of the new ones solely off the small ones. Come on, man. Give us two more. That's baloney. Well, whatever. Either way, let this not ruin the greatness of Pizza Duck. I still don't know what it looks like when they come out, by the way. I think if I had to take a guess, he probably gets hit with, like, a spike. Like, if Unicorn Duck pops her, maybe... I don't know. I've not seen it. I really have not seen it. So we're going to be on, like, duck watch for a little bit. What time is it? Uh, we do not have enough time to get another duck out, but we'll wait a little bit. I want to see if we can get that second one. Cool ability. Really sucks that it uh, straight just randomly took out uh, two spots. That's stupid. Oh, well. My nephew once played a dirty, uh, played dirty with me when we played Gran Turismo. She just shits him out, huh? She just gives a big dump, piss, huh? Nothing really cool happens. She just goes Hurrah! and just dumps it. Hi. <laughs> hey, dark. Glad you're here to witness the dumpus. Uh, like I was constantly winning, and he'd always come in second. Uh, and he was so pissed. That out of nowhere in one of the rays, he bumped me and eventually both of us into a wall. And we both lost. Don't we already have a duck that makes babies? Yeah, Norman does. After a while, Norman just has sex with somebody. Yeah, Norman will dump some baboos. Well, either way, that's another one down. Another one down. We've got another new duck down. We've got to be getting old ones back, because I think we got uh, most of the new ones. We only... What what are we up to? Two commons left? There's only two commons left on Duck Addiction. One common here. Did you see one the common final here. Tears of the Kingdom trailer? I did not. I have not watched anything about it. Is there anything cool that I need to know about? Anything interesting about the, uh, the, the Zelda trailer? As you boys know, I, you know, I'm not really that hyped for the new Zelda game because it's a new Breath of the Wild game, but. Yes, the weapon system is awesome. Fuck you! Alright, well that probably implies that it's still the same weapon yes, system. Yes, it's great. I hope you watch it. Alright. They made it better. Are you sure they made it better? You know how they make it better? By not doing the stupid system. <laughs> Go back to not breakable weapons. 
but apparently that that's impossible Because then people won't buy Breath of Wild. They won't buy it. There'll be a bunch of people like, God damn it, dude! I can't buy this game because of non-breakable weapons. Weapons to make new ones now. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I hate that or not, but it is what it is. Ryan, I need more rewards. I have 600 points and have no clue what to do with them. You have to talk to Bobo, who has 200,000 points at the moment. It's funnier when Bobo keeps getting higher points and there's still nothing. Oh my god, there's going to be a mass sucking! Mass sucking! God damn, god damn, boy! I'm glad we we're here to witness the mass sucking. We got to play the game now, boys. We probably got to play the game. It is 2.30. We could wait for the next duck, but... Or maybe Ryan just need to get with the times and stop being such an old man about the new systems. Old man? I hated it back in older games, too. That's not a valid point. <laughs> it's not like the system hasn't existed. There is... Listen, I've said this before. Nobody buys the game or likes Zelda because of the breakable weapon system. If so, they may be crazy, but nobody says that. Nobody... Zelda is about exploring... And enjoying the world and the fights and the action, nobody says, man, I won't buy this game if the weapons are, aren't are breakable. Nobody. Nobody thinks that. So that's why I think it's a stupid idea. There are people, I've seen many people say that this is ruined, like they don't enjoy it because of the breakable weapons. So I just don't see any reason why to have it in there. It's just not a fun mechanic. It's such an unfun mechanic that it ruins the game for people. I don't understand why they think that's a better mechanic than... Also, just wondering, when it comes to your red versus blue reactions, are you going to watch out of mind once you finish season four? That is correct, Dark. I've got a uh, full compilation of them all that I'm going to watch. That's the plan, Dark. So, uh, it will be not the next, because the next one will be the season finale, and then after that will be out of my mind. Or out of your mind? Out of mind? Mind? Mind. Mind. Bobo, aren't you as old as me? Bobo, how old are you, Bobo? Would you like to tell the class how old you are? Stanley's waited long enough. Yeah, but now we're close to the duck. I'm 29. You're old, too. That's not, you're literally like two years old, old, uh, younger than me. You're an old man, too, Bobo! Hello Ryan, I'm doing another magic pre-reels, so not sure how much I'll be watching. Woo! So I'll just say some cryptic advice. Don't mm -hmm. use the pad up. You will know what I mean when the time comes. <laughs> Alright. Did you guys hear that pop? Oh, she gave birth to the other baby. Gross. Alright. I will take your advice, Derpy. Have fun with your uh, with magic gathering. Sounds good. Oh, old salty hobo. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I am salty about the new Zelda game because, like, there's nothing worse than a franchise that you love very much and then they change it for no reason and ruin it. Like Nintendo loves to do. Ask any Paper Mario fan. All right, give me, give me a duck. Give me a duck. Oh shit, Duck Army! I just worry that you will miss something because others have before also after season 5 it's recovery 1 and then the season 6 trailer as it is a mini EP. I did notice that, yes. Andrew Duckfield! Hey boys, we got Andrew Duckfield back. An old friend that we haven't seen in a very long time. Huzzah! Alright, we've got the new duck, that's what we want. Saving the ducks, saving the ducks, saving the ducks and eggs it in. All right, Andrew Duckfield has landed. We've got another oldie, oldie but goodie. I am a young sprout. <laughs> My favorite part about Zelda is being able to hit four enemies before the club turns to dust. Yeah, isn't that fun? Don't you love that feeling of it turning to dust? 
Ryan, one duck is sideways. I know, his head's too big. I'm currently 4-1 wins. Hell also, yeah. Also, did you know that the actor who played Frodo in the Lord of the Rings films play someone in a later season? Really? They got, um... Elijah Wood? That's freaking cool. Mandela Ep 4? Uh, next week. Next week will be Murder Drones, that, and, uh, Lackadaisy. <laughs> they banned Bobo for saying the smelly word. He's in big trouble. Caught Bobo live on camera getting in trouble for saying the bad smelly word. You go to timeout, mister. They did not, they have not Paper mario Zelda yet. Now you are talking out your ass. Disagree. I mean, yes, it's not as bad as Paper Mario. But it's very similar to Paper Mario where they added mechanics that don't need to be added for no reason other than they need to change something for no reason. They just wanted to make the game worse, in my opinion. All right. Uh, should we do? Yeah, English. Okay, got it. Have you played this before? Yes. Please adjust your slider uh, until the computer is barely visible. Well... Like there? Is that good? Nah, it's good enough. Anyways. Oh, so you can hear the raindrops hitting the window. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad out there. <laughs> All right, let's get comfortable. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I'm excited. Here we go. This game's highly rated, by the way. This game is more rated than uh, uh, Breath of the Wild. It's a better game. Confirmed. Eight. Eight times the points. All right, here we go. Please enter the current time, all right? Can't you just copy my clock? Why do you have to make me do this shit? Oh, you're really going to make me do it this way? Okay. Any chance you could react to the final trailer either at the end of the stream or a future one? Uh, I guess so. If we don't have much left to do at the end, sure. It's going to bug me. I'm going to wait till it hits 8. <laughs> Fuck it, Ryan. Just hit 8. It doesn't matter. It's not that important. <laughs> uh, accessibility uh, settings can be accessed from the menu. Gotcha. Well, I think this is the better way to experience the game. I am going to start drinking. Let's go! Boys, it's been a long time since I've seen this butte right here. This specimen of a man. This fine cube here. Mm. Mm -mm. If only we could... Hold on. Can we somehow... No, we can't. I was going to see if I could somehow get it so it went down an infinite void. Wait, maybe I can. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go, Stanley. I got you, buddy. Here you go, Stanley. There we go. <laughs> the infinite void. The infinite void must exist. Are they just saying gibberish and nonsense back there? Ooh. Ooh, this is like seeing your grandparent after not seeing them for years. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is that the same voice actor? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number also, 427. Also, can't wait for the cursed Halo stream. You may 4, 2, 7, have to play on easy as I'm simple. struggling on normal. He sat at his oh desk boy, alright. That scares me. And he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly like how Stanley was hired for it, but yet he does the old. Stanley was happy. 
And then one day, something very peculiar happened. I possessed his soul. Something that would soul. forever change Stanby. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Stanley, I possessed no you so hard you could feel me making your balls tingle. Meeting, or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, question. Before... Whoa! <laughs> um, is that bad or good? That is sensitive. Um, question. Quick question here, folks. Um, is... In the new cursed Halo, even the cuisines and the checkpoint slash objective names have been made cursed. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Now, I'll be honest, Dark. I I might have played already a little bit of uh, Cursed Halo uh, with uh, Chris and uh, John. But I'm not sure if it's the same one. I'm kind of curious about that. All right. Um, so, question to everybody in chat right now. Is... There are anything I need to remember from the first, like, half of the game for hints for the new stuff. Is there anything I need to remember? Because I semi-remember there being something you type in here or maybe something like that. Was there any... I don't remember the buttons. I don't think it was anything special. No, not really. Nothing that we can't tell you. Okay. Not any connections, but I didn't know if there was, like, a secret ending. Jeepers creepers, Stanley. What the fuck? All of his co-workers were Don't gone. Know, what could it mean? Do, do, do. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Good lord, guys. Do you feel this? I am literally Tokyo drifting around this thing. No matter <laughs> they... how hard Stanley looked... He couldn't find a train. Yeah, rare, not now. I'm just enjoying the fine fucking speed I'm getting here. Was there a jump button? Wasn't there a jump button? There was. I know there's a way to get up there and then fall outside that window. But that's old stuff. We don't need that old stuff. I am speed. <laughs> Is this faster or am I just like forgetting because of how long ago it's been? Also, uh, I should ask, how far do I have to go to get to the new stuff? Will I just run into it? Will, can I miss it? If it was Halo 3, then it's the other one. All right, yeah, we did the Halo 3 one. Slippery slope. Yeah, it is. I mean, look. Look at that. <laughs> you legitimately fly a little bit. All right, let's just go, Ryan. Let's just try to find the new stuff. I got to get into that new sweet, sweet content. Hey, give me that content, buddy. I'm going to smell it out. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. For now, I can tell you the two new things you can do right away. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to remember what I haven't done and what I have done. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps I thought there was a giant door that said new content, first, and I go in there, and that's all it. the new content. Shit. Narrator! Psst. Hey, narrator. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, buddy. I've done all this before. I don't remember what I've done because it was like a half a year ago. Can you just, like, show me where to go? I can't do old content. People get bored. They'll turn off the stream. They'll yes, riot. They'll rip my knees off. Worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Oh. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. You bet I am, buddy. You know, it's funny that just something called cold drink does make me thirsty. Can I have? Can yes. I have? 
really, really worth it being here in the room. But I'm trying to get a cold room drink. So utterly captivating. You want one? That even though all Need your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I'm, I'm trying to get you a drink, bud. What? He's shut the fuck up. He's showing you the way to go, Ryan. He told you to go left. But you went right. At this point, well, Stan's of course, because I gotta get those so drinks, guys. And creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. But I'm trying it's to get you some do. This is why everyone left. But this, <laughs> this is why I left. I'm so weird that everyone left. Well, that's understandable. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. I'm not. But when I'm a trying. long time had passed and there was no more. He you know what? You're not getting a Mountain Dew now. You get a Mountain message. Dew diet. And if anyone tells you that diet is better than normal stuff, they're literally clinically insane. It's going to happen. Don't worry. It's going to happen. Did I literally just have to listen to him to get to the next part? Hey, I'm back. I had to restart my computer because something happened that caused Chrome to act up. That's what happens when you get Stanley, buddy. Nah, have fun. All right. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Okay, so I remember that spot. Oh, I also remember this spot. This is the part. <gasps> this is the sad one. Let's do a sad one. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> For all you know, I already have been fired. That's why everyone's gone. I fired them from life. Anyways, I am the one that has a man talking in my head, so maybe I have done that. Do I hear a bird chirping now? They fucking were taking a bath now they're fucking howling out there? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, we really have, but I've been looking for that new me. content. Maybe I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Yeah. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? Yeah. I was in the middle That's right. Of this is the one ending I'm picking. Consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do All you have to do is to tell me this is where the new stuff is, bud. That's all I asked for. You, I just asked for a simple thing. You just, we're just going around here. We're just fucking yip yap skibbity bap. Now listen carefully. This yep. is important. Okay. All right, yeah. Stanley walked through the red door. Now this is a hard one, buddy, because like I got to show my loyalty to uh, Caboose and Tucker and uh -huh. Church. Perhaps and, oh. you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. This is the Stanley, Stanley parable I remember. Through the um, red door. Oh, fuck it. How many? Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He knows. He knows what he did wrong. He knows what he did wrong. All right, fine. Go ahead, He knows Stanley. what he did wrong. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've mm -hmm. chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Oh, this isn't the way I wanted to go. Where's the one you where see? I keep trying to kill There's myself and you get really sad? I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is mm -hmm. this what you had wanted? Was yes. it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? <laughs> Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work yeah. with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me I some feedback. I want you to make this, like, cookie clicker, there but I go. click on the thing. Third yeah. option. This already yeah. feels leaps ahead of where <gasps> we were before. Go that ahead, looks different. Stanley. Take it for a spin. I don't remember that. I don't remember this wooden door. Look at... Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me... Let me inspect this here. That's mahogany. Hold on. Let's check the angle. This looks new. I don't remember this kind of wood before. This is fine wood right here. This is fine wood uh, workmanship right here. 
And as you can see here, you can see that it's got old man freckles. That means this wood's been aged perfectly. I accept this, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Yeah. Now, What's tell up? me about your experience with this new version. Well, you say oh, that the boy. game benefited from allowing you more choices. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Each one has an eight in it. That's 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 gonna up some points there. And the mahogany work was really nice. But you know what? It could have been better. I'll give it a four. Okay. Because so two fours somewhere. equal eight. Clearly, there's something here that's. Uh, I don't have a problem, by the way. If I can be honest here. I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party. <laughs> you bet, bud. I'm fucking fully yeah, erect down based here. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. But you're never going to find out what I did previously. That was on the Epic Store, and we're on Steam, so good luck with that. All right. A Stanley Parable Worldwide <laughs> Leaderboard. Ooh, good old Neil. Fucking good old Neil. God, he's using cheat codes. Everyone left the office because their co-worker Stanley would go and stand at the broken drink machine for hours on end. But <laughs> Stanley always seemed possessed for some reason, so everyone refused to go to the office as long as Stanley would stay employed. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just mad that dead rat beat me. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, Four. honest answers, please. I'm giving it to you, buddy. I was, hey, that's a valid point. Good, good track. The new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtest. Please tell me it's not baby it killing simulator, because I already did that Perfect. too. Let me boot it up. It's gonna be baby killing simulator. God game, damn it! Baby crawls left towards <laughs> Well, I never you did get this ending that takes four hours. Right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. Okay. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of Good endlessly confronting again, the demands of family life. I said, oh, I think sh the oh, will oh look at that. They cut that ear off wrong. He got, he fucking got Mike Tyson. Clear what? Once you've been playing it for about four hours. Okay. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure, sure thing, but I never did get this sure ending. That's true. I did not experience. get this ending. All right, here we go, boys. Guys, don't worry. It's just gonna take four hours. You guys did ask for a marble stream like this. Don't worry, boys. It's not annoying. Guys, what if I do it this way? <laughs> so bad. Holy shit. No, I'm not putting you in there. Don't worry. What if I just do it in slower intervals, right? It's even worse. How about now? You can hear the full baby, though. By the way, guys, this is a real ending. I looked it up. I was going to watch the video, but instead, I think we should actually do the four-hour stream. This is an achievement, too. I will murder you, Ryan. Would you like to allow that? Uh, I don't know if I want to allow that. I've got to figure out if... All right, they allowed it. We'll let the baby go. One more baby. One more baby. Nope, not yet. Nope, I don't. I, I kind of still. No, oh, but well, hold on now. We gotta think about this though. Hold on, what? What's the baby's name? Like, if his name's Pedro, I can't let him go. Samuel? We can let Samuel go. But what about Sam? Like Sam, I am. Guys, hold on now. I'll make it a deal. We all agree that Breath of Wild's weapon mechanic is terrible. If we agree upon that, I will burn the baby. Now, everyone in chat, put down below that Breath of Wild is terrible. No, well, now we just got to stay here because Bobo said no. Come on, guys. Come on, everyone together. Four-hour stream or Breath of Wild's weapon mechanic's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the literal worst way. <laughs> I 
No, I'm just kidding. I can't let the baby die like that. What am I, some sort of baby murderer? Guys, you all said that Ryan killed Franbo and he killed the other girl, Fortune. I resent that. And for years you have said this. But look at how I go. He said, Ryan, they're going to say, you're a great dad. You saved that baby. You... <laughs> Nope, not yet. Nope. Hold on now. Look into his eyes. One more time. We gotta do it one more time. But I'm a guy who has to do it by eight. I gotta do things by eight. I will scalp. You heartless bastard. Listen, man, I tried. Do you hate babies or I do not hate babies. Me. I gave him because a hearty matter, try. But Chad over here hates babies. Ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm also, out, I gained out, one I'm viewer done. from that it's bit, over. so. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. You're welcome. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't no! you play else? No, chat game? hates you, not me. I'm play. into you, bud. Let's see. What do we have here? They really have bad opinions on video games, man. It's yes. it's not it's not, it you know. like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot, buddy. Let's give it one more go. I wanted to go the four hours, bud. I was ready for the distance. Aha. Uh, what do you think this game is about, Stanley? <laughs> What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Well, hmm. Isn't but this a game? To me that you is it? To play as a I've seen this game before. On innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps <laughs> for some sort of twisted, Ooh. erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. I'm enjoying this creeping I'm doing. to the experience of total mental depravity. I feel like Justin Roiland so far, right now. I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward. And but see it really feels realistic there. when I put my hands like this. I really feel like I'm in the world. Firewatch, thank you. I knew I've I've seen this game before. Okay, guys, we got to find ourselves some good old Lupine. Truck Alaska. All right. Is there anything? Let's see if there's anything interesting before I head on. <gasps> Windex. Sponge Puffs. Isn't it made by the same people? Or did they just do a, like... <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So, I have a question. I have curiosity. I want you guys... Oh, uh, Sleepy, you made the you made a good decision. You missed probably one of my favorite Stanley moments where I tried to save a baby, but chat all went and they said, Ryan, murder the baby. We're horrible monsters. We need blood. Blah, 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 blah. It was crazy. I don't know what got into them. They're out of control. Um, I'm late. Was playing D&D. &D. How is the D&D &D going? So I have a theory, guys. I have a little crazy theory. So, seeing when you click, it makes a keyboard. No you can't jump. You got your first achievement. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to prove, bud. Uh, do you think that really Stanley is just on his own computer right now? Like, Stanley's at his computer? Is Stanley himself playing on the computer and that's what we're doing? Because every button, action button, is making a key click noise. So is that implying that this is all just him on the computer? Or maybe Stanley himself is writing? Maybe Stanley is the narrator. Maybe Stanley, the guy in his head, really is Stanley because it's Stanley's head. Maybe Stanley sounds like that. Maybe Stanley's a beautiful Britishman. Stanley is a beautiful British voice, so maybe. Why did I expect that to do something? <laughs> oh, what's that with it? Hold on, I gotta put my creep goggles on. Whoa! You really chose that as your choice of socks? Sick fuck. Guys wearing rainbow socks on non-gay pride day? What is he fucking thinking? Another creep. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. It can't be. What, 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 what? What's up? Did you not actually load any more of the game? So therefore, I'm going to hit an invisible wall. Was this? Is this new content, by the way? It is. It's an open world game. <gasps> yes! God, quickly block it off. What? No! Oh. What have you done? Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. 
<laughs> and he headed off into that that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, right? no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, I know. Oh, oh. Oh. Thank heavens we avoided it. That's right, Stanley. See, Stanley agrees with me on uh, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Let's find another game. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, I can break free. Something with nice, I can break free. Big, insurmountable walls. I can break free. Come on. No, don't do it. I found it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. Squeeze, Ryan. Squeeze. Paper Mario. <laughs> Didn't work. Shit! Wonderful. Rocket See, League! This is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice I'm big scared. Box for you to run around in. Please do not have cars try to run me over. Lost here. Now this is game design. <laughs> so, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I'm scared because I'm going to fucking get my ass run over. I'm going okay, over. so what exactly do we do here? Let's going, see. I don't know. Don't. There are lots of cars Please here in the back, cars. but obviously there's no racetrack. <laughs> okay, I've seen there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. <laughs> we shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yeah! yeah! Surely we must. Man, this is a great way to come back, Here's Stanley. Have fun. I'm very scared I'm going to get, like, jump scare car run over here, boys. Oh, near Oh, finally, Rocket League, but fun. Thank God they finally have done it. I like how this one had to put the title up because they're like, listen, it? if you're going to put us in your game, we fun? want it. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? No, Stanley, not really. I have a thought. And I realize Something. I'm not a sportsologist, but yeah. if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then yeah. surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. You've got you got something out. coming on here, buddy. We've got some here. Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing. Mm, this makes it? my balls Stanley, tingle. I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply <laughs> have to have more. I'm insatiable. Uh, please don't. Uh -oh. More balls. No, no, wait, wait, hold on, buddy. Bud, 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 hold on now. This is gets getting that we're you you starting to Gary's mod on me. You might Gary's mod on me here, brother. I'm scared. This is gonna Gary's mod, boys. He's gonna fucking this, just start Stanley? shooting that button. Fun. Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. What? That's right. Your little fun One comes more to an end. My this ball! Is game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, what you happened, need buddy? someone you, like buddy, me you to you set bipolar? boundaries for you. Is everything Without all right? Rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. Yeah, Since I agree. Since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, oh. goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. Come on, man. I'll See play balls with you, bud. I was going to let you. Oh, room. come on. Somehow. I You're having fun too, man. You can't just lie like that. Who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Okay, bye, Stanley. One tile. 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 Someone in chat's gonna literally assassinate you. Uh, I'm guessing. Oh! Bud, what are you doing? Having fun, bud. I'm gonna find out what the hell's down here. What are they? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Oh, shit. How will you this. write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. You still have so much. So, quick question. 
Wasn't that Minecraft originally? Did they change that? Wasn't Minecraft like the first one? <laughs> On Tick Tick, there were people simping for the narrator. Like, literally? Because the, here's the thing. Here's the kind of beautiful thing about the narrator. Seeing he's a narrator, he technically is a real human being that exists. He's the most real character in all of video games. He is real. You can actually legitimately find the narrator and simp for him. He actually exists. Because the voice actor and Stanley are the same thing. Or narrator. They made him into a persona. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. So Okay, so it was Minecraft. Wasn't it originally... Uh, yes, and Portal 2 was 1, too. So there is actually a difference between Deluxe and the original? Do you guys know how many are, like, switched? So, <laughs> so in the end, what you're telling me is playing the original was actually, in the end, worth it. All right. Hi, Josh. We were just talking about how Minecraft was the original, like, uh, ending for this one. Uh, fling cabinets. Ooh. No, it says flying cabinets. Friend filing cabinets? I feel like that one episode of, uh, uh, of Gravity Falls where you just keep falling. What the fuck happened here, brother? Ew, this is scary. Ugh, mold! Truly the scariest of horror games. Guys, we should have put this on Sunday because this is too spooky for me, man. Was this the one where it just ends? Am I aren't I just stuck down here forever? Also, is Stanley Parable literally just the first back rooms? Cause isn't this what the back rooms is? Just nothingness. Am I gonna be attacked by like some guy? Hello. That's suspicious. I mean, he does sound like a guy that would wear glasses. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like real life images in video games. For some reason, it creeps me out. Also, low res images scare me too. Really? Nothing? At this point, I'm just... Oh! Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it, he'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out but of the But without and you, the and the confusion. I can That's get I millions know. of dollers off that the back I mean The most popular moment. horror thing oh, right yes. now? I'm going to make yes, Poco Bucks. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. God, I hope so, bud. I can wait. Can we try doing babies for four hours? The end is never the end. The end is never. The end is never. The end is never. The end is never. Oh, boy. Mission cancel. Couldn't find a bra. I'll send my cousin instead. <laughs> you can't tell me when the narrator talks to you disappointingly. You don't see a British man fixing his glasses. Not fixing his glasses, but I do imagine. Um, 
What is he throw? I think he kind of... I'm thinking... I'm thinking, uh... The frame of the guy running uh, England right now, the guy that everyone hates, they keep calling British Donald Trump. Uh, I, I, like his frame, not his hair though. His hair is very prim and proper, but he's big and chunky like that guy. What's his name? You know the guy. I want to say Trudeau, but I know that's Canada. The fine, what, what, who's the fine British fellow who <laughs> makes me laugh and I can laugh at him? Boris Johnson. He sounds like a Boris Johnson. Like if somebody's gonna have the frame of a Boris Johnson, it's gonna be Stan. He's got very, he's got a prim. Well, he's very chunky in my head, but very British. All of his co-workers were gone. All right, I'm gonna listen what to him this mean? time. Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I feel my hair blowing in the wind. That's how fast I'm going. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, thank God that was the right one. Hey, man, I'm just going to listen to you, and hopefully that's where we'll get the new stuff, because we're, we're, we're working together, man. Yet there was not a single person Do here either. Do not alter Feeling without a wave consulting of disbelief, the whiteboard. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, maybe he knows. Maybe that guy knows where it is. I was reading that, and that's pretty rude, man. Come on, man. I was... Oh. Remember this one, guys? Remember this beautiful room? That brings back memories of sitting in the closet for three hours. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yes, sir. Here we go. Where's my man at? Hey, buddy! Say new content? That's the bathroom. God damn it. What's the guy got to do to find new content around here? <laughs> How is there, like, double the amount of content from the original one? I can't find it. Where is it hiding? It's under there? Oh, of course, it's the beach pages. All right, I'm taking a sip. Route. All right, Ryan, here's a new ending you can uh, do if you want. Well, I probably already have passed it. Head down the elevator past the boss office and then go back to the elevator so listen to him for now i have i already i've already passed it haven't i or is that the elevator in here no under i just saw your message now you haven't passed it okay so the elevator you mean this one right here the one that's in here all right so Here's a new ending if you want. Head down the elevator past the boss office, then go back to the elevator to... L okay, 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 I got Stepping it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief... You think anyone's played the piano with their feet and gotten famous? secret was being held from him? You think I could make what that my gimmick? What he could not have known what? was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> Stanley couldn't Atta possibly boy. have known this. 2845. There. Alright. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Don't remember this being so dark! Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. I don't remember it being like this. Is this new? <laughs> right, you should have just watched your playthrough, you fucking knucklehead. Okay, there's the elevator. I really should have, because I don't remember any of this. Like, I remember some things. Oh, I really thought I was going to fall to my death. All right. Um, Hold on now. New ending. Head down the elevator past the boss, and then go back to the elevator. Okay. I thought it was going to be like sneak out or something. Boris Johnson has not been in power since last year, by the Descending way. Oh, the but he was, I thought Stanley he was such a fun guy. I thought everyone really liked him. It was a stirring of emotion <laughs> in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? 
This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, here we go. Whoops, nope, uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> God, is this actually like hold on can I go back down can I just annoy him by going up and down the elevator over and over again let's find out no he has turned it off he's already done with that wait what is hello guys I've lost myself guys I've lost myself I can't see there I am okay Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly right. the way it was before you got onto the elevator. No, not it's still just the lighting exactly different. what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. I really have. This I'm proud of myself This has out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Literally or figuratively? It's important for my immersion. Eight. All right, we can never, we can literally never play the game ever again, guys. We don't need to play the game ever again. I've got one I come here for, and our silly reference. That's all we've got. In this reference. That's the only joke I've got. Oh god. <laughs> I think I made myself sad there. All right. Well, we can now live in this office. I can climb up there. Maybe I can build a little house on these sh these fine curtains. Maybe drink enough alcohol to go into a pure comatose. What was the password again? Do you guys remember the uh, the password? What was the password he gave me? Can anyone remember it? Because I wonder if I type it in again. 2845. Thank you. 2845. Nope. Doesn't do diddly squat. I thought we were onto something here. All right. Well, this was a good experience. I'm glad we could have it together, Mr. Stanley. Um, can we also agree that the voice actor sounds like a Stanley? All right. Here we go. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? So is this game literally just a joke? Not a commentary on people who constantly want to, uh, like, do their Did own thing? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? <laughs> no. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> this is, I, I imagine the creator of this game was a D&D &D guy. I really do. I really think this was a guy who played D&D &D and was uh, one of the moderators or dungeon masters. And this is what happened all the time. And he just got so annoyed by people breaking the rules. Oh my God. It's the boss's office. <laughs> I thought I was going to be attacked by a fucking little man. 
with his Give dang trumpet. Give me a trumpet. here for a minute while I process this. Okay. <laughs> you heard him, boys. Okay, I'm oh. ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No. No, wait. No. I need more time to process. That's understandable, ma'am. This is uh, 2023 and I don't like to rush people. Dungeon master that got tired of his players derailing the story constantly. All right. <laughs> I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. That's impressive seeing before, your uh, robot. I, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Okay. Still got it, baby. <laughs> Hey, Stanley, see the eight joke I made? My chat's gonna fucking piss themselves till it comes out their belly buttons, I'll tell you. <laughs> Woo! And that's how you get a YouTube channel that has about 200 views. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just or appreciate. how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. <laughs> That's my motto. Listen, bud, if you don't rip that button up, guess what's going to happen? Has he finally given up on me? Is it over? Is he not gonna come? Mm. We're going up so fast. You know what? I just thought of something. Oh, 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 Hold oh. on, let's stop. For oh, a oh, but now calm down. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. That's true. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Yeah, let's oh, do I it. You don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious. So uh, I, I'm why don't we take this elevator pretty easy at nice giving it up and slow there we go isn't this so much more exciting you no this gives me it great anxiety like actually the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible they want big explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started but where's the tension Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This Stanley. is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. Can you go this into great detail on why I don't have legs, though? narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. Thanks, You're man. the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. You bet. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's you betcha. It's not like anything else out there. You see, yeah. I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I What's the point of listening to the same story over and over again? engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time. That is the truth, my it, friend. Which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp. Have you ever played Breath of Wild? And alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because mm, yep. you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. Yeah! You're a role model, you know? Thanks, man. People look up to you. I, I, which I, know. Is why, I know, man. Oh, I, didn't know when I have a stream you, that uh, well, seven I've people show up for and, like, another seven for bots. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I no. thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. Did you know I'm this not a dictator? I'm an angel. Gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good, we're here. Wow, guys, look at this red carpet just for me. For little old me. 
I worked hard for this. I've really okay. worked hard. Ten the years holding the press for this one moment. Should be just All the eyes on somewhere. Stanley. It's about fucking time. It's about time, boys. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. <laughs> How did it? The pyramids. That guy did it. Man, what a great guy. The guy who went to Mars. Man, Elon, you look. You aged like a fucking bad can of fucking mayonnaise, my man. <laughs> An evening with world peace, baby. We could have had that, boys. We could have had that. Just want you to know that. We could have had world peace, baby. But some people in chat... Thought it'd be a real funny goof and a gaff if we kill World Peace, baby. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. What you mean Ryan Breath of the Will did some new thinking and never seen before in a Zelda game, Breakable Weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sure do. They've always been good at get, putting in bad ideas. All right. Um, The Stanley Parable. Stanley. Tonight. Live on stage. The man, the process, the myth, the legend, the parable, Stanley. Q&A with world's first sentient machine. <sighs> Boys, I have a hard, this is a hard lineup. I don't know if I can do this under the pressure. Doing great, a conversation with Alexander the Great. Oh, fuck. I have to do this next to Alec. Ah, uh, to stage. All right. Welcome, Stanley. Thank I've you, told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Really fucking freaking okay. out, man. It looks like they're ready for you. Go what? Get them. Oh, shit. Uh, I gotta powder it up. I gotta powder up, man. Oh, fuck. Stanley, me, dad. <laughs> Story. Thanks for showing me the cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. You're too cool. Good luck on stage. Rock on. <laughs> Break a leg, champ. Your boss. <laughs> oh, he, 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 he wanted me to break my leg so bad. He wanted me to break both legs. That's why he gave me two of it. Stanley, my true love for you grows every day you make me feel alive your wife from the apartment and <laughs> <laughs> guys she does care she does care she does care <sighs> No one tells stories the way you do. Go get them, Tiger. I will. Thank you. I feel, I feel all the love in the world. I am ready to go up on stage. All thanks to my deadbeat wife. Am I going to fall to my death? Oh! Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey, buddy! Wow, Jesus Christ showed up. You can see, no one else. Oh, two Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good picture you got of me. Thank you. That's the ending? I was going to give a great speech, bud. That was fantastic. You're great at humiliating yourself in public. This won't be different. <laughs> now that's the best ending. I think we can end the stream forever and I'll never show up because I'm never going to truly get to that height. Maybe one day. You know what? It's always about grabbing at that brass wing. And this time, three Jesuses. I'm going to get three Jesuses to show up and hang out at my party. That's right. Three the only way otherwise it's not, it's not gonna it's not going anywhere all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo 
No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. How did I do that glitch one where I fall out? fell out? I forget how I did that. Honest to God, I do not remember how I got up there. Maybe it was in this room. Was it this one? No. I have no idea where the new stuff is, guys. I found the new ones. Do I have to do all the old ones to do the new ones? If so, I kind of wish you guys told me that and I would have done them off camera. <gasps> there! There! Guys, I found it! I need something to drink other than coffee. I miss when Overlord was the controversy we united against. You know what, Ender? You're right. Breath of the Wild, 98% of people actually enjoy that game. But Overlord, 98% people are on my side. Let's go, baby. Bring it back to the classics. The game heard your call, <laughs> right? All right. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new oh. content? We gotta enjoy every second of it, boys. We gotta enjoy this. Let's, let's really enjoy this door here, you know? That's suspicious. Did the door really just do that so I can get couldn't get around it? I bet you there's a uh, one to go in here and then leave. If I know this game, there's an A. Oh god! <laughs> Fix my hair up. Feeling good. It's going well. Ah, oh, finally we're off. We're off. Oh. Oh, Stanley, I'm so excited. I swear to God, if we get to the end of this and they go, oh, that's it. It's a dog wearing a hat. All right, thanks for buying the game. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. You're welcome. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013. Did you steal this computers. from the Five Nights at Freddy's VR After game? Receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon. In 2022, with the I did that too by taking Ultra it for Deluxe, free. A reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content oh. that broadens and expands the world. Oh, of so much Parable, more! Delighting audiences the world over. I'm delighted. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Are you going to be all right, though, Stanley, though? Are you going to be all right? That was all not you. That means if that guy exists, there were... Two narrators. I'm getting really scared, guys. I don't know if I like this new content. I signed up for one narrator. Two narrators? I'm not gonna be okay. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but yeah, I'm we already sure did that it's gimmick. just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. It might be more fun. I don't know. That last one was like literally the greatest. Um, is it broken? <laughs> What's going on here? Should we just wait for the patch button? Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. Let's I've go! Never been more ready. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta wait. Well, this is a lot less Ooh. fun when you've already done the elevator ending, huh? I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if I agree. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Oh, let's go, Stanley! 
Watch it. Wait, here it comes. Yep. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. <laughs> Stanley, we got to talk about this. Did you fucking tell them that I can't jump? This is highly offensive. This is like doing a jumping minigame for a fucking person in a wheelchair. <gasps> Stanley, this game's too intense for me. Can we go back? I can't jump outside this circle, can I? This game is literally just going to, uh... I'm going to jump in this space, and then that's it. It's going to go down, and I'll never be able to jump again. Jumping is real. Matt has lied to us. <gasps> Boys, I'm ready. You're ready for the greatest game. The greatest game moment of all time. My eight button broke for a second there. We're good now. Thank you guys. I like to. I would like to dedicate this joke to uh, to uh, uh, to Don Rickles and uh, uh, Bob Hope and all the uh, great people out there. Ron White, he can get one too. Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, all people who would appreciate the fine nuance of uh this joke here um also would like to thank uh, uh george carlin who would have said i am the greatest prodigal to ever live for making this eight joke again they said it couldn't be done memes around the world are truly in awe of the ability to make this joke funny again <laughs> Woo! all right let's go is is that it Surely that's not jump. all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Anymore. It was. It really is a jump circle. You sick fucking game. I wonder if there's a way to break it so you can get the jump outside the circle. Like you can jump outside the circle onto the table. I could see the game doing that. Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. elevators and jumping. Yeah. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could I would pay for that. Trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley I would also pay for that. Lux, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. Don't worry, just there gotta, to be something but we just gotta be more Let's positive. We gotta I'm give this whatever it is. We gotta give this other narrator a chance, all right? You know, everybody not everyone gets it right off the bat, but you know what? The jump circle was okay. At least we were able to make George Carlin not roll over in his grave and Richard Pryor fucking snort a one more line of cocaine in the afterlife because of how good it was. Alright. There's a bridge and three boxes to keep dry. Okay, there's a chair to admire this fine bridge. That's going to have to add some points. That's Hello, it? Ryan. Oh, you've got to be won kidding my first me. You see Stanley? Tournament Th and I see I came back at the perfect time. <laughs> Did you use up the jump circle completely? <laughs> no, I didn't. We went to eight and we stopped. We never actually ran it out. We, uh... <laughs> we stopped at eight. <laughs> Because we had to make the greatest joke of all time. This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base yeah! launch a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Yeah! And get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In I fact, like the chair, I'm though. right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. Ah! The insurance department signed off on this. If I know this game, if I know this game, if I know this game, if I know this game. 
All right. Um. Anyways, that aside. Uh, there is no achievement called. Oh, never mind. There it is. I found it. <laughs> I got so distracted by the eight. <laughs> I didn't even notice that there. Guys, guys, guys. We have to do it. We have to get this. This. I don't know how we get this. I don't know how we get this, but I promise you, on my grave, on my mother's grave, on my grandmother's grave, on my grandpappy's grandmother's grandpappy's hamster's grandpappy grandmother grandpappy son's friend Henry's grave, we will get this achievement. All right. I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I need to find these people on Twitter. Yeah, where? What's it? Find them. Let's go together. Let's do it again. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content. I'm afraid it could never have lived up to such expectations. Also, the narrators on Twitter. If you're still with me. Why don't we just reset the game? Yeah. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. <laughs> no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like yeah. always. Dude, I could friend? not agree more. You hear how he said friend at the end there? You know what this content has brought me? Friendship. Real friendship. Final. Me and the narrator have gotten back together. And it's no longer about him versus me. It's about us together. That's the combination. Before, it was either going with me or going with him. Now it's not. It's about coming together. The story never ends because friendship never ends. I hate Monday. All right. Well, I work with Garfield, so that's a fucking horrible... <laughs> da 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 <laughs> All right. Um. Psst. Stanley, come yep. over here. Yep. In the vent. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh. Yep. Oh. All right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm coming. What's it? What's up, buddy? What you got? <gasps> Yo, that's so much. That's a better mug. I hate Garfield. He stinks. Coffee nut in a screwdriver? <laughs> Coffee nut? What a... <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Stanley. That's a good one. Oh, fucking god damn. Oh, god damn. I'm about to suck his nuts okay. if he you keeps those jokes up. remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned mm -hmm. out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past. Yeah. How much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I yeah. made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. You know what, narrator? We did have it better back then. Remember that time that I killed myself over and over again? He got so sad that everyone in chat felt sad and Mr. Krabs was there playing a tiny violin? I call it... The memory zone. Yeah. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parallel on PC. Dude! 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 This is what I do on YouTube! Wow. Wow, that's a basket. Whoa! Wow! My God. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Yeah, I mean, back then, video games had integrity. That's true. Back then, it all meant something. It did mean something, Only unlike West. Breath of the Wild. Wow. You got a valid point here, bud. Zone, sweet zone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2013 when Stanley Parable was released 2013 I'm thinking that's the actual time but it's just you know weird European time truly beautiful 
wonder if they actually made that. I love how they made it like a uh, like old box. Like the cogs and everything. If you remember back in the day, though, to be honest, I think 2013, these boxes were pretty obsolete at the time. I cannot read that. It's too tiny. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I remember that ending. Where's the sad ending? Let's begin again. Oh, wow. This weirdly makes me feel nostalgic. Memory lane. Dude, smile because it happened. It did. It did. Twenty thirteen is eight thirteen for your American brain. Well, that's not correct at all. It's three forty five. <laughs> Man, I remember these TVs. They used to break people's backs and people go to a hospital and we didn't have to trick people into getting diseases. Now now we do. Oh, the impossible achievement. That was a classic. Don't play for five years. Man, if only we could truly pull that off. Those were the good old days. That was a good prank, Stanley. You know what? That's a pretty good prank. Until people found out how to fucking cheat it like a goddamn whore on fucking Easter Sunday. Ah, it gets me so mad. Um, new video game released today. Creators surprisingly down to earth. Rug Rutgers? Goes from scandal to new crisis. College show uneven effort to enroll. <laughs> Costs hidden new tax to achieve diversity. 50% off designer hats. Puckers. Oh, wow. My ear hurts. I was not letting that in a good spot. There, are, There's an achievement now that <laughs> you cannot play for 10 years. <laughs> oh. The thing is, seeing... um, This was 2013, right? That means people easily can get the five-year five, five year achievement now. Los Angeles Times. Stanley Parables deals tough choices. They got valid points. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, man, what a what a great experience we had. Man, you know what? In loving memory of little Stanley. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 God, no. Let it. Boys, everyone salute, for we must do the eight bell salute. Eight. 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 <laughs> That's beautiful. Goodbye, little Stanley. Human beings. <laughs> and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning Musical. triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James <laughs> Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote... Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives <laughs> and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. I'm sad. I really thought that the, uh, when, uh... <laughs> I thought the music would keep playing. I would have listened to the music longer. But it also shows human beings in a nutshell, because hearing the music and seeing all the stuff behind, like all the memories of Stanley Parable, kind of did make me feel nostalgic and emotional. That's how dumb us human beings are. 
um, we take a scene, you put some emotional uh, piano music in, and you'll start like on. <sighs> We're easily manipulated. Oh no, Dark, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Sorry, I did not see the hangout in the garden till now. That was my bad. I gotta remember how this game goes. I really thought I could move on and uh, not... Dude, I'm about to fucking break this goddamn uh, thing in half. I do like I... how the deluxe is just the game shiting on other games and telling us how good the game is. <laughs> it was literally and they're not every wrong. game ever created. It was Skyrim. Yes. It was Persona 3. Yes. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. Yeah. It's just a husk. Mahone, a lifeless husk. It's weird that the Stanley Parable announcers play Persona 3. Nice water effect, though, man. Look at all this you've look at all this work you've done. Look at how good this is. This these right nice rock formation. These lights that can fall into the, the water and electrocute and kill me. This beautiful monument right here. It's be a flawless victory. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, but sure is. The tasteful nostalgic, it was good. It really was. Man, I, I am feeling nostalgic. Down or up? Down or up? Well, I'll probably get more than one opportunity to go. Well, maybe, let's just see if it's even possible. The memory zone. Maintenance. Oh, we can't even go down there. All right, no, no memory zone. Too many memories down there. We can only handle so many memories, like this one. Okay, I had a moment where I was worried that I was hearing birds that were not in the game, and I was going in fucking insane. All right. Oh, no. Please. Please, game. Please. Please. All I ask, give me the 8 button. If you give me the 8 button game, I will, on stream, rate this game 5 out of 10. Wait, no, 10 out of 10. Or 5 out of 5. I don't remember how it goes on the, on the three. I will, and all I will write is a single number 8. That's it. That's it. That's it. Maybe I'll write it 8 out of 10. No. No, no. It's got to be 10 out of 10. It's got to be the max score and 8. Oh, apparently they're French. Also, by the way, remember what I said about D&D? &D? <laughs> Where are you, baby? Come to me. Wow, the doors that they use? That's beautiful. I, I... Oh, it's the never ending. Got it. <laughs> Man, this game has some valid Here's points here, guys. moving passage. Garbage. This time from GameSpot.com. <gasps> The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games mm -hmm. and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a I'm game. I'm just going to close my eyes Nine and out take of it. Ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't True. need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. True. But when you put it like that, it's kind of sad that every video game gets forgotten about loss of time. Like, there's still good video games that people will put a lot of time and effort into, and uh, they get forgotten about because there's so many games, and as time goes on, there'll be so many games that there'll be even great games that are forgotten about for all eternity, lost to time. No one will ever play them. They'll just keep getting more and more video <sighs> games till nothing exists at all. These were simpler <gasps> times. You remember that bike is from the Raphael update joke trailer you watched. <laughs> I did not remember that, Derby Bird. But I wouldn't give to go back 
to have it all over again. <laughs> You want to go back and do it again, Bob? We can we can look through it again. We can watch it again. The serious room. <laughs> and boy, it was sure serious. <gasps> the wine joke. Oh, God bless America. It's so good. Wait. Hang on. Up. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. <gasps> What's this? What's down here? Stanley, now listen here, buddy. We might be going to the dark zone. This is where all the dark memories happen. The ones where I fell down a hole and killed myself so many times that you got into a depression. And it was one of the saddest things I've ever experienced in my entire life. Because it's also one of those things that make you like, this game and everything you talk about, Stanley, it really just makes me think about the pointlessness of existence. And it makes me kind of really sad. But also it makes me really happy because, like, comedy is also kind of the thing that you fill in the void of the nothingness of life. So in retrospect, this game kind of is beautiful in itself, answering the questions of the entire universe that exists. <gasps> Sorry, just had, had to stop a stroke. Sometimes you got to stop the stroke before it comes in. That is good wood, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, bud. This looks pretty smelly. This probably oh, smells no. like herring. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. No! The online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Garbage. Surely these reviews were Stanley. killing as well, weren't they? They, well... Stanley, listen, bud. Everybody down here, they don't get the joke, and then they say it's bad. This is what happens all the time. They go, oh, my God. I don't understand it. Therefore, it must be the shrine. You know, I, I joke about that, but that is kind of true. No, 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 no. What is this? Honestly, I could not bother. I could not be bothered Honestly, to play this game. I could not be bothered to play this game. Don't listen to completion. The narrator is obnoxious and no. unfunny. No! With his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Oh. Unfunny! I'm not trying ah. to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I agree, bud. It's it's a lot to stick in places. But maybe that's what the deluxe is for. More brain teasers, if you will. <laughs> that was a real that was a legitimate uh a legitimate comment. If I know this game, there is no way, there is zero percent chance that that was a fake comment. That is a real comment that they just took out because they thought wouldn't it be funny if we just shat on somebody who wrote a mean comment? It was. Um, the, this game is dedicated in memory of little Stanley. He wee wee weed all the way home to the great farm in the sky. He sure did. Oh, all right. Let's continue on. Let's continue forth on this sad, sad story. Oh, God. No, they can't all be negative. There can't be all people without sense of humors. God, no. Please, God, no. It's not fair. No. Well, to be honest, guys, I play this game on Epic where you can't review the game, so these don't exist. So, uh, thank you, Papa Fortnite. Papa Fortnite. I can't do the Fortnite dance. I don't know how to do it. And nor do I ever want to learn to do it. Oh, wow. A box of umbrellas? There still is hope in this world. Um, by the way, as somebody who, you know, 
makes videos. I don't know why he started it that way. That's so pretentious and stupid because you all came from my YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> I get, I totally get when people don't get a joke at all and then write a comment about that saying how stupid it was because they didn't get it was a joke. It just went, no, and it's always something really stupid. It's always something really, really, really stupid. AKA saying a joke about me reading the whole entire Bible that Stolas doesn't exist only for people to it's tell me in great detail that it is. The first person shooter gamers. <laughs> That's a valid point, Bobo. That's a very valid point. Or people expected like a big story that means something other than the story meaning nothing. Like someone who is looking for a Undertale like experience where the uh the story had a grandiose meaning and you're trying to figure it out because, it, you know, it's the opposite of that game. But anyways. Freedom of speech was a mistake. <laughs> oh. Where the views come from change depending on the platform you're playing. Really? Oh, wait. So, Derby, you're telling me if I buy this game on Epic Store, it'll have different... This joke will be different? That's fucking great. No, oh, Shinzo, don't die! Okay, let's see what this one says. No, no, it's got to be good, right? While the idea for the game is good, and it's, yeah. and, 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 and for someone who prefers non-linear huh? games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? What? Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? No! You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. You, you, yeah, you're not, but don't, I'm, I'm on your side. It's shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Yeah. yeah. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... You put a lot of hard work in it, bud. I've been on your side since day one here. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. Yeah. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. You want to try to... Like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley no, no, but, 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 isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. No, 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 don't say that. It was really good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It's, uh, it was my favorite game on stream. Well, I did enjoy Inscription a lot lately. No, wait. Now, Inscription made me angry. This game never... I never thought it felt repetitive, but... These are people who probably did the four-hour baby thing. They probably thought it was repetitive, but I thought it was an innovative and great joke. Um, this guy's a fucking idiot, all right? Let's go on Twitter and find a racist tweet he obviously put because everyone has accidentally put a racist tweet. We'll cancel him, then his opinion won't be valid, and then we'll be going home having pigs in the blanket. That's what I'm saying, Stanley. We got it, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. That's the 2023 way. Stanley? Stanley, you all right, bud? Come here, bud. I I, I enjoy the, the mud flap. No, they can't. They, oh, dude, they can't write three bad. Like, two's a lot. But three? What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <gasps> A skip button. Sink it. Well, Sink well, him. Yes. yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. I mean, all I have to do what is walk to do that. I don't need a skip button. Negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Nice plank animation, bud. Dude, that was beautiful. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. Those people who said that shit, they're fucking idiots, all right? Everybody who writes any criticism on the idiot, internet are obviously fucking idiots. Don't listen, Stanley. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you a little secret about the internet. I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let you all guys on this, the secrets of the internet. Everybody in the entire known universe is an idiot except you. That's the way to think. All right.
That's a beautiful button right there. That's let me check it from every angle. And then I should, we've even got a ladder to go above if I want to go around the ladder. Do you know how many people I know that thinks the entire world is stupid except them? Ever do you the amount of people is hilariously stunning. All right. And here it is. Yeah. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just yeah. the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's All what right. the players have been asking for. Yep. And I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your... <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I hey, should buddy. say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Good thing that it fan's still working, huh? Durable by any... Stanley! Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, hey, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really... Oh, Stanley... You're back. Hey, bud. You're back. Hey, what's oh, up? Goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week, or well, two weeks. I've been sitting here Holy all that fuck, time, man, that's long. just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. Not one. And you think that that's just how that's it's just... always been, right? Oh. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. Hey, I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. And I've had all so of existence. Much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Yeah, I Let did, just right now. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is... I'm back! Stanley? I'm back! Bud? You forgot to water the tree! Stanley? Where'd you go, bud? By the way, if you're wondering why I call him Stanley... Um... It's because he's in my head, so I figured he's just me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to call him Stan Stanley. Guys, uh, things all right? Give me the button. Ow! 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 But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. <laughs> it was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. <laughs> they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave I thought it was best, bo best of both worlds. And make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncom... I like how he left, and then he came back to rant, and then he left again. Well, the fire alarm's not going to go off. This can't possibly end with me burning alive or anything like that. Oh my gosh, the speech reads Ryan all over it. 
I don't know what you guys are talking about. Every time I've ever had a rant, I've had valid points. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta stretch out. Stretch. Stretch. <laughs> Salt. All right. The end is never 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 the good trick bud I gotta say that was a good trick if you want people to make you feel like it's not about jokes anymore just keep saying the same thing over again and it'll make people uncomfortable is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never but I got I got an idea end is never the end is never the end is never the end let's make some sweet jams and is never the end 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 is never is fuck I fucked it up hold on I got it is never the end is never the end is never the the end is never fuck I can't say it with him saying it never mind fuck the joke is never the end 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 that's what I get for trying to be just as cool as him this is getting literally droning but you can be all right I forget who said it. There was a... There was somebody who brought up the insanity of what if, when you die, life starts over again, and your life is always miserable, and that the it's an infinite cycle of horrific end, never the end. That's what I think of every time, is that, that crazy, like, thought process of never ending. Anyways. I forget where I... Where was that from? I don't remember. Ooh. Stanley! But do you remember? Did you remember to turn on the light bell? Why is there what looks like a bomb thing over here? <laughs> well, this is what Stanley wanted. He wanted it not to be about jokes, but instead about deep philosophical thought. I mean, I always thought the game was a bit of both. You can be comedy and philosophical. Some people don't like the philosophical stuff, especially in their video games. You know, the part of me is like, if you're not in the mood to get preached on for philosophically, like, I totally get how this game can come off as, like, kind of, uh, uh, preachy. There was at least once or twice, I was just like, oh, okay, so it's just like, it, it got in that, that department. Putin? <laughs> I'll give you a Putin.
So did the narrator literally die saying the end is never the end? The en How come I can say it now when he's not trying to say it? <laughs> the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end. I can't believe it. I couldn't do it to save my life when I had to do it while he was saying it. But now when he's not here, I can say it perfectly. God dang it. Guys, the sun blew up. Ah, fuck. You all right up there? Gonna quickly press that button. <laughs> hey buddy, the end is never 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 oh I need the end to be now I need the end to be now though oh oh my button fell over okay so press it though Why would, why would the button stop working now? My mother just sneezed. I thought it was a demon. <laughs> I, did, I heard it. I'm scared. It scared me. I heard... Mountains over there, so I just gotta just gotta go till I uh, find other friends, right? You know, it's pretty impressive that the electricity stayed on that long for like a millennial while it was sitting in the middle of a desert. That's pretty impressive. The shame that literally it was just the sound of a it falling over that stopped the electricity from working. In hindsight, I probably could bring like a generator or something. <laughs> Whoa! 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 So I got Ashley knocked off twice, got attacked by two old ladies with chainsaws, and realized easy mode is not easy after all. Also, unloading three mags into an already dead boss is not a wise choice, but worth it. <laughs> I was about to say, Bill Ops, that game's about ammo management. Anyways, and all that's just happened with you was less scary than what happened to me. <laughs> Ender. <laughs> I entered the world. <laughs> Whoops. So, so we skip to the, uh, to the, the hip death of the universe. Satan has rise, uh, risen from hell. Oh God, dude. It's fucking scary. The end of the world demons pop it up. It has been eons. You must have your demons sneeze from her then. Yeah. We both have them. I liked Infinite Darkness more. Wait, so hold on a second. Is it implying that Stanley didn't just, like, go through time? He went through, like, the world ending and then reforming, and thus he's now there in the newest... Like, there's no one left alive, no living beings whatsoever. Holy shit. Holy shit, Stanley. What a fucking ending. What happened? St <laughs> you know, it's very funny to the idea that this is what happened in this ending. The narrator read a bad review and then ended the world. <laughs> you know what? 
there, Raider? That's a pretty good joke. Oh. Ender is never the ender is never the ender is never the ender is never. <laughs> All right, well, the story of the sad death of a beloved game because we couldn't let the past go. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's like, yes to that, but also... <laughs> it's also not being able to, t like, take criticism. <laughs> That's what makes it beautiful. It reminds me of that Twilight Zone episode, Almost all of this game reminds me of the Twilight Zone. That is canon. Everything's canon in this game. So, how much more endings are there? I imagine there's probably an ending where I don't ever press the skip button ever, right? Hello, Ryan. Welcome back to the year. It's 2067. I'm 64 now. I'm married and have six kids and two grandchildren. And I'm only one left here. Everyone else has moved on after you disappear for no reason. All the other messages that appear here are the old ones because Twitch added a new feature where old chat messages can appear. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I certainly haven't been recording for that long, just sitting there saying absolutely nothing or maybe saying the end is never over and over again. That's crazy. Right, guys? Right, guys? Guys? guys you can hear me, right, guys? I don't remember this room being so dirty. Oh well. Still got it, baby. Fifty years later, and I still got the funnies. Oh, I don't like this feeling. Guys, I don't like this feeling. I don't like this feeling. I read the Sleepies and just like as if like Sleepy wrote like 50, 60 years ago. Ryan, I just got a DM from Dambies saying you're back. I can't be live it. Where did you go? What do you mean where did I go? I've been here the whole time, guys. It's, I just been we just been we just played the game, but guys, it's only been like it's only been an hour. Stanley. So, uh, it's been longer than I thought. I, uh, thought I wasn't playing that game that long, and, uh, I, um, I just read the news and found out that Hello, Ryan. Welcome to 2043. I am an old man, 
I married a beautiful Japanese woman, found happiness, financial stability, the world didn't end sadly, Canada is now part of America. Oh, Mexico is a new state. Now I'm just me Oh my god, an Imperial Officer was just assassinated in this world? I was assassinated? I just read the news and found out not only have I been gone this long, duck shoes became popular and now it's out of fashion. It's out of fashion. It's out of fashion. <laughs> oh, God, no. <sighs> God fuck god damn it Ah Ah Right I have to tell you that the word anus is now illegal Okay you know what I'm going to jail baby Anyways, so guys, you want to play some more Stanley Parable? I'm glad that you guys all are married in the future. Congratulations on everybody and their new kids. Rocky the Rock has stepped down as president. I couldn't. I didn't even get to see him. God damn it! God dang it! All of his co-workers were Guys, gone. remember back Look. in 2046 when Russia created world peace. It was all surprised me. Stan decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he I had gotta say that uh, didn't 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 see that one coming there. Well, I fucked some up there. Oh, that's probably that's the old one. All right. So, what's the plan here? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on now, guys. It may be it may be sixty years in the future, boys, but they got new content. I've been gone so long that they had new content on top of the new content. Oh, good! You notice my sign? Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. That's fantastic news, man! Oh boy, I'm so excited! It's been a long time, man. I've been waiting to come back to this game for so long. the elevator I remember. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable yeah. and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to it be. It really has the been. The original Stanley parable was a landmark and any new It was so fucking bad that, that I feel legacy. I feel like so the youth has slipped from my pores. Nonsense, I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley parable Yes! 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 Woo! You did it! Yeah! Woo! God, yeah! God, I thought it wasn't worth it. I thought it wasn't worth it. Going into a comatose for 60 years or whatever. But it was worth it, guys. It was worth it. We got here. We can now play Stanley Parable 2. The game I've been waiting yes, for. you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? 100%. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. It's true. I have been asking for this. 
I think I have an alien inside my tummy, though. Uh, the end is never the end again. <laughs> it really is. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Agreed. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? <laughs> but the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Man, when, when we get to eight, I'm going to fucking jizz my pants, brother. Finally, it'll all come together. You were so close to making a perfect ass. <gasps> uh, that was almost vomit. All right. Hey, that's a pretty nice model you made there, bud. I'm proud of you, bud. I, it's been a long time. Um... Made some decisions, not too proud of. There's their back two doors. <laughs> New mug. God bless America. This is the greatest game ever created. Stanley Par. Oh, Stanley Parable Two. Oh, going with two lines. Going with two in the middle. Stanley Parable Two. Oh, go in the Resident Evil trick, huh? It doesn't really work all that well, but it, it is what it is. <laughs> two ferns! Dude, I can't do two ferns. I, only, I barely survived one fern. You know, Stanley, you really outdid yourself this time. <laughs> Man, look at that guy working on a desk. That's impressive, bud. That's impressive. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I sequel. figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Yeah, but we did the scientific stuff. We did all those brain teasers making people believe that, like, whoa, they're trying to tell me something. Let's all throw that in the bin. Now it's going to be all about two jokes. It's all about where the joke is trying to say something, but then it goes back on itself. It's going full circle, baby. You see, because Stanley, what we're going to have is we're going to have that ending. We just did it. We go all the way to the time. We look at the end of the world, and outside the end of the world is another building. What's inside that building? The same exact thing. We're going to go in, and you're going to be talking exactly how you talked just before I press the first button. And then we do it again and 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 again until we have more fun. Every pause button is the Roman number two. Whoever came up with that deserves two jobs. This way to the show floor. Ooh. Mm. New features, baby. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Hello, Michelle. It's been 64 years, but it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Michelle, what are you doing here? Hi, Michelle. Welcome to the end of the world. I accidentally ended the end of the world, and now you're apparently in your 80s. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes things happen. Sometimes people press buttons. Sometimes people press buttons too many times. But here we are in the future, where uh, you know things are going pretty well, pretty uh, spry. I feel healthy and good. You know. Wow, I look fucking great for 880. <laughs> oh, man, I want to sit down and enjoy the second new features. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess we'll... Oh, wow, what's behind that door? Probably all sorts of secrets. Maybe it's my wife that died. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh, dude, look at these ferns. They're so much better than last time's ferns. The last ferns sucked dick. Hey, we made many ferns. Hey, don't forget the ferns. Not these ferns. You can't forget about these ferns. As you can see, 
the fine, oh, the texture. God dang, boy. Ooh, merch, merch, merch. Let me buy some. Let me buy that, boy. Let me buy that one, that one. What's a two? Oh, my God. The end is never the end. <laughs> it's never again, and it's two. They do it twice. The shirt is the best new <laughs> feature. <laughs> Please tell me that shirt exists and I can buy it. Scan the QR code? Is there... Oh. Uh, okay. I'm going to scan the QR code now. Here goes nothing. Nope. Oh, it would help if you actually put it all on the screen. All right. Here we go. Open link, stanleyparable2.com. Welcome to the official website of Stanley Parable 2. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, boys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> A sequel, huh? Watch our helpful and informative video to learn more about the Stanley Parable and what the journey of becoming a sequel is all about. Direct link to YouTube. Oh yeah, Ryan, remember to visit your son Ryan Jr. in prison. I think he would love to see his father again after all this time. I don't have a son. I don't have a son. I don't, I don't know a son. Wait, I don't like, no, no, I don't like that. There's no, I'm not having a son. Because that either A implies that I had a son just before I pressed the button, which means I've been squirting my, my goo. My goo. Or someone had sex with me when I was not moving and perfectly still, which I am not okay with. Hold on. Stan Lee. I'm trying to get it so it's on the the main screen, so I don't have to do it by my phone. Pair rubble two dot com got it we got it consent is key <laughs> especially if i've been in comatose for six years all right now expo hall two nine minutes i'm in see there timmy what's that you're enjoying why it's breakfast of course Everyone loves breakfast. They're going to do everything you know by twos, aren't they? Is getting a sequel? That's right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. <laughs> With a little luck, you may even get a trilogy series I can't series wait for dinner. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why, sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. Timmy's like we a six-year-old boy. He's dumb as a sack love. of bricks. And we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy. And That's they can true. And to early aging. This eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That grandmother has the exact same chin as Thanos. Go ahead, keep looking at it. Can't unsee it, can you? She has Thanos chin. She could literally dig her own grave with her own chin. That is a specimen right there. That woman is a fucking specimen. That's what Michelle... <laughs> no! Oh... Wow, our son. Our son. No, 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 no. Not our. No, not our. It wasn't my son. I want to go on. I want to go on the new Mori. All right. I want to go on Mori. I want to go on Mori. All right. Lol, she's 29. I'm 80. <laughs> yeah, this is a. They age differently nowadays. This is how people age now. Old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Someone make art of this 2067 thing, please. Not sure how, but I want it. 
sequels on the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you look around you, you'll find them everywhere you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which <laughs> we'll call the vertical automobile. <laughs> it's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. <laughs> Rocky the Rock! Rocky the Rock! He's everybody's favorite joke! Rocky the Rock! Rocky the Rock! I've come to stone that person for making that. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying <laughs> so <safe> death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Man, they weren't kidding around when they said they added jokes to this new one, huh? They really did add some jokes to this one, boys. Oh, no. There's, it's only a minute. Holy shit. Oh, I forgot. Rocky got his dream job as an executioner. He just goes, throw me. And everyone goes, throw Rocky, throw Rocky. It's really fun for everybody Um, how, uh, you know, Everybody gets a chance to throw Rocky at the at the infidel. It's, you know, it's really good. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. <gasps> Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. Sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, <laughs> which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. <laughs> Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. In stone her! Stone her! Stone her! Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. Fact, there is only one single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. We don't know what it is or why it exists, <laughs> but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. <laughs> and just like everything else, the Stanley Parable is getting a sequel too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. It was. Do you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing? I Stanley did. I Parable? recorded it. It's Watching on. It's on YouTube you for me to watch forever. Hour after because hour. the end is We've never the end. The end is never the end. Is another. never the end. And is you never were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on the Stanley Parable. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. Yeah, you're a man, that's true. which is like the sequel to a child. But the same and as a sad man, eyes. you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. <laughs> you need a man's video game, Timmy. I do. And that's why I do. the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. Oh! And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh. Here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting he's got nipple pockets, which is the evolution Gregory of the pocket. Is what we call the ideas guy, and he has the most important role on the team. Uh huh. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers Ooh, a for the circle. relatively simple job Wait a minute, of turning a those circle with legs? into reality. That's for the evolution example, of the circle. He's the one who picked up the phone and declared. Someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Good work, Gregory. Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. With the hard part out of the way. He whacked off after that. There is no other answer to what. If you get it, if you nail that ballpark that hard, you gotta just, you gotta go. Woman too. I don't care. This is this is this is not a gender thing. If you're a woman and you nail out a ballpark, you deserve a good jack off. You just invisible dicks. That's all you. Just do that for like a good while and you deserve it. Well, and well deserved. Hey, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. Ooh, we've all valid made point. mistakes and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. Yeah, I when tried to murder my wife. When sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, hmm. most of the pornography in the original game was stolen or pirated. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
All right. So, um, oh, first up, we already read the first, the first review, but we already know the answer. There is nothing better. All right. We already figured it out. We can't, we cannot change ourselves for bad reviews because then Ryan ends up ruining the world. All right, let's get. And it's time we paid the licensing fees fair and square. Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, <laughs> whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently <laughs> in multiple locations throughout the game. <laughs> Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game and absolutely <laughs> vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy, tucked deep within the game, where it will be difficult to find. God, my head is spinning. If this was back in my youth of the 2020s or 2030s, <laughs> I would say I had been drinking too much. But sadly, now it's just my poor old brain dying <laughs> oh, on me again. Oh, no. But just, you know what you got to do? You got to rev it up. You go, Brrr. it'll get back up. You're good. But no, Michelle, not you, because you're obviously not my wife. I would never do that. And that would just imply that I hired a bad assassin. Find. Finally, the Stanley Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time wars. Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. Now then, it's time to set about- Is this time war going to actually be some sort of, like- actual lore and that's what happened in the last ending the time war is what killed everybody constructing the stanley parable 2 game development is a difficult and complex art one which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories they begin by studying the original stanley parable here it is in its raw untouched form a specimen Very of technological looking. perfection time to exploit like it for profit it. We begin it is by adding 67 and I have embraced the fact that the son died at my hands at I your hands to death five times. But after having absorbed the powers of the sun and becoming an immortal being, the authorities gave up also seeing as getting a partner was too much. I don't like how there was a bang in the game as I as it went out. I've de decided to have a child via Mios. Uh, now set to inherit the moon for the playground. Well, you know what, Chanto? I'm glad you moved up in the world. That's what I always say. Congratulations. Congratulations. The time war was no joking matter, right? In jokes, the Stanley Parable was most widely known for its stark lack of humor. Bucking all I didn't know 50s Ryan got a sequel. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, 60s Ryan, the sequel to 50s Ryan. 50s Ryan is old dudes. It's all about women's rights now. We all like to appreciate old ladies in chat because that's the way of the 60s. I think. I don't remember where feminist thing happened, but it happened at some point in the future, so sooner or later I'm going to get it right. Hey! <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to some cool kids like the Beatles or whatever that may be trained by Satan. All conventional industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. <laughs> During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley oh Parable 2. Thank God. Creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and why beautiful nature think of that? like these. This is why you're the innovator. The Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers <laughs> I have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. 
Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains But I gave up on that part. Now I'm on the website part. And several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1500. On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed. Each of which Don't worry guys, no adults they did. They decided that 5 years? No, with Stanley Parable 2 time, 10 years. Which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before <laughs> being added into the game. <laughs> This man is stealing. Thank God we went back to factory, good old child labor. Tends to use that was too handy projects. to give up. He's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Huh, still recovering from a hard day's work. <laughs> Even Hobo Ryan is getting a sequel. His name's Homeless Jeff, the movie critic. I'll fucking strangle that bitch. I mean, good for him. Don't you move a muscle. Next up. It's time to blackmail the press. <laughs> In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating it's really of easy on Twitter. For your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. <laughs> From your Ugh, wish that wasn't so true today. To the teacher at your school, to the man who helps you steal HBO. Everyone responds <laughs> to blackmail. Um, it's and called Max now. It before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. No! And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting. Mm -hmm. And that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. If you order the Stanley Parable 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, the sequel to pigs. <laughs> and there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. Of course, you may know that there chickens. is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working round the clock to come up with an answer to. Oh, thank and after God. many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? <laughs> All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubble gum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and, and cheating consume. I've been. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable 2 on Intense every bullying. platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once and for all. <laughs> Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge I've to I've heard them. They're very loud and annoying. For today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. I actually do know what the beyond is. No, it's the end is... <laughs> He lived a strong year, a strong three years of his life. Good job, Billy. Good job, Billy. Oh, man. So we can officially state on stream that child labor is the best and also bully your parents, guys. Remember to bully your parents for some, some Stanley Parable. Otherwise, you're letting your boy Stanley down. That was amazing. That was amazing. Is this at, So it's unlisted. It's unlisted. You have to go in here. There's only 131,000 people. This one's going to get a secret like. Ooh, we got secret comments in here, too. This might be spoilers. I'm not going to read any of that. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. That's new. If, you, uh, if you're more of a prequel sort of guy, check out Stanley Parable 1. Is it just the meme thing? It sure is. Well, that was fun. I'm glad we found that. Also, it's 5 o'clock. It's almost 5 o'clock. Holy smoke. We're not going to get through the Stanley Parable 2. Will it save from here? Because I feel like that's a good a good place to end here. Yeah, what do you think? Should I keep going? Or? I'm pretty sure it will. Trailer today. 
fanfic. I'm not sure, Imperial Officer. We might get a, a fanfic in there. Show and tell could do that. The Stanley Hyper Bowl. The beginning is always the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a good spot to end here. Bye, Derpy! No, Michelle, I'm sorry. My assassin failed, therefore I must... I have to quit the game and call. I gotta call up some people. Um, alright! This was fun. Stanley Bearable Deluxe. So, I'm guessing we have a lot more to go. Oh, I, I feel like I've scratched a small amount of this video game. Ooh! A small little speck of this video game. Oh man, I got tired really quick. It turns out laughing really hard kills me more. I'm glad all you guys came back after all these years. I really thought, you know, really thought if I somehow went into a time coma that all of you would have left by now. So I'm, I'm, I appreciate all you guys still being here. <laughs> all right. Doot, 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 doot. Let's go over to our ducks. Because I want more. I want more. At least have them in the background. So that I can fill my life with those. Alright, you've splashed enough. You've heard enough splashing. I'm just going to keep you in the background for a sec. Have a good day, Ryan, and everyone in chat. You too, Shooting Flower. Tears of the Kingdom trailer today. I guess so. How long is the trailer? That's all really what it depends on. Um, Tears of the Kingdom. Three. It's only three minutes, I guess. All right. They're still plopping, by the way. They finally all landed. <coughs> Michelle, you like my new duck? He's a beaut. This is my favorite new duck, by the way. It's a five head. He's a beaut. I like, uh, I like looking at him from all angles. Look at him staring. Damn, he's calling out Steve right now. Fucking staring down Steve. Fuck. All right. Um, there's a long way to go till we get anything new. So why don't we do it? Let's watch it. Then we're gonna do show and tell, and we'll do some fan art, or maybe some mobbles. All right, let's go. Don't do any secret murder. We only do out in the open murders around here. Oh, God. Not Twilight movies. God, anything but that. Oh, actually, hold on. This one. That one. All right, here we go. Let's watch it. So, by the looks of it, I am curious... And I wonder if this is going to connect the Skyward Sword. I mean, they're really pushing the, the Sky Islands like the uh, Skyward Sword. So I would not be surprised in the slightest if this has anything to do uh, with that game.
I wonder how much of this is actually going to be world. I do wonder about the, like, the I islands, like, a bunch of different islands. Is that going to be enough? Like, is that going to be fun to explore? I imagine so. I wonder how they'll pull it off. I wonder if this game is going to be even more like just explore and not ask questions. Like, just go. Just go island to island. Oh, wow. Whoa. All right. And it probably will be like Skyward Sword where you go up in the sky and then explore the land or something. the brightest shade of red I've ever seen in my entire life. I think I got flash banged. That man went over here and exploded in me. Oh, God, don't take that out of context. Oh, woo. All right, let's continue on. Yes, the uh, granola bars. This is Fortnite. This is a new Fortnite game. Can't wait. Ryan, we have to tell you something. We originally were going to take you out of the cryo sleep in 2033, but unfortunately the old sleep chambers were the same mechanisms of the old-fashioned pudding can. <laughs> so when we pulled the tab to open it up, it just snapped completely off and it took 43 years to figure out the situation to figure out a solution. <laughs> oh, well, that's understandable. I do love a good pudding can. I thought the original pudding can was great, but you know what? It was the sequel to the pudding can and we always got to do things in sequels. Hey, by the way, seeing Link in uh, Zelda are British now. Does his, does his like slash noises sound British? <laughs> does he go or eh or eh or eh? <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Also, especially saying I played uh, uh, Breath of Wild, not Breath of Wild, uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, I remember that there's worlds with technology, like there's like old time, like uh, uh, like these robot. I forget which one it was. You had to like move a cart with like a gem, and it would like make things come to life. I would not be surprised if those technology is based on this, because it seems they're very technology based. So. I, I would not be surprised in the slice if this is a prequel to that. Uh, but, boy, you know what I didn't expect? The Mission Impossible scene in Zelda. <laughs> that was on my list of things I did not expect that was on there. Link was about to... Um, Link was about to fuck up a farmer, by the way. But besides that... What, uh, is this a furry? Am I looking at a furry right now? Is this a furry that got a thump on the hand? I can't, I can't really tell what I'm looking at. What a new weird creature. Big stone monsters. Beautiful castle. Zelda. Zelda's with her titties hanging out. Okay. You rely on your knight and Didn't that legendary that. sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. I don't like you touching her Link. bare shoulder. Link goes in the Death Star! <laughs> I 
That literally. Hold on. Can we just go back for a second? Can we go back for one second? Hold on. I want to see a rocket one more time. That is almost identical to Omar's ship. That I mean, it's a rocket. It is what it is. But it looks it looks so much like Omar's ship. So I like to believe that this is a crossover right here. This is where Omar shows up. He's like, "Don't worry, Link. I'll save you." And then Pikmin come out. Come on. If Smash Brothers can do it, so can Link. Ooh. So I heard this game is going to make a, a crafting system. And I feel like the crafting system is either going to be ass or great. It's going to be hard. Because, I mean, look at how uh, Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. Like, everybody brings it up with nuts and bolts. Crafting can be very tedious or very fun. I am curious to see how that goes. Either people are going to love it or hate it, or it's going to be very divisive. Holy shit. Disco ball? I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. That's from Skyward Sword 2, by the way. Those are the amber things from Skyward Sword, aren't they? This really does. Man, oh man. I have, like, this really feels like a sequel to Skyward Sword than it does. <laughs> Oh my god, her nose is so big. I'm sorry, man. I'm too busy looking at her beautiful bare shoulder blades. Mm, how's my ducks doing? Oh shit, we missed a new duck. Nah, what is it? Who is it? Hello? What have we done? Is, is that it? God dang it, I have no idea what it is. We've ruined it. Save. We're going to find out the old-fashioned way. We're just going to go to the main menu. God, what I really care about, we missed. God damn it. All right, let's look at this more. Do. Ooh. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. It's weird that Ganon okay. sounds the same. That sounds like Ganon of old. You are not alone. Link. You are our final hope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at the the uh, Marvel at the end. Link. You must find me. Zelda, you are wearing a really risky outfit, girl. That feels like one tug and your titties are flying through the sky. Faster than Link. Oh, jeepers. That red's almost as bright as Ganon's hair. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've said this before. I just, I kind of just feel nothing. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of why I haven't watched it. It does look cool, but like, I, I still have zero desire to play the game. But it is what it is. All right, let's go see. See our duck. Woke up just in time whenever a uh, coffee stream. Sorry, Midnight. You missed all the fun adventures and how the world ended and all that stuff. Also, it's very funny that Dark plays it in Japanese. <laughs> There's something very funny about British. <laughs> Someone playing who is British. He's like, oh boy, British. Japanese! I don't even blame you. I'm somebody who usually always feels Japanese voice acting is better. Man, sometimes Japanese voice actors just nail it out of the ballpark. One Piece is a perfect example, right? I've heard some Japanese voice acting in, like, like for instance, anyone who's seen up to CP9, that Robin scene, like the voice actor, god dang, deserves an award. She freaking nailed it. God dang. And then you hear the American and you're just like, uh, it's not as good. It's really bad. Like you didn't even put any heart into it. So like if you're a scream, if you're gonna have a scream line, if you're, if you scream as if you're worried the mic's going to peak, then you probably should get a better mic for a professional for VAing. But anyways, So, are we implying that Zelda and Link are European because they're blonde and white, and that's why they have British accents? 
I have no clue. I'm just, I'm just, I have no idea. That's because in Japan, uh, voice acting is like a legit profession and people are really taken seriously there. That's true. Isn't though, I heard they have, don't they have like, no, I'm thinking of animators. I was thinking of animators that get paid shittily, not voice actors. I play Grinchin Impact in Korean. I don't know. I don't know why it's funny to me. I like to play, I like to play SpongeBob in Mexican. Spanish, Ryan, you fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, actually, t it, with Spanish in Spain and Spanish in Mexico, how much, is there any differences between the two? Is there the same thing we have in English where people in Europe speak completely different than people in uh, America? Is there a difference? I, I mean, I literally cannot tell the difference if there is one. Sorry, that's old brain. I always, as a kid, I always thought Mexican was uh, Spanish. So I always called it that. So, yes, there is a difference. I wonder how much of a difference. Is is it like Spanish Mexican speaks a lot faster? Because like some Spanish uh, Mexican media, holy smokes, they talk like they're about to sell something at an auction. Oh, yeah, it's very different. That's what I kind of figured. I was just curious how much of a difference. Is it an accent thing or is it completely different, Shinzo? It's very different. That's what I figured. Will you ever try out Age of Calamity as it has no weapon durability? Uh, is Age of uh, Calamity, that's the, uh, the Dynasty Warriors one? I'm thinking. I mean, I might. I don't know. Dynasty Warriors games, I gotta be in a, in a mood for. Dynasty Warriors games, the problem I have is, like, I play it for a long time. But then I kind of get burnt out. Like the the gameplay does get uh, tedious for me. I, for some, I had it wasn't a problem when I was a kid. Now as an adult, I uh, I uh, you know, I really enjoy them. I last one I played was the One Piece one. Really had a fun time. No, I played Hyrule Warriors. Um, but yeah, after a while, I do get burnt out. So I I don't know. I probably will. I don't see why I wouldn't. Ryan, well, have you heard of Fluffy? Yeah, Gabriel Iglesias. He is a comedian who explains differences. I've never actually seen a bit. I should, I've, I've not, uh, if he did, I don't remember hearing that, because uh, I have watched uh, quite a bit of Fluffy. Accents in the meaning of words, uh, concha, uh, can mean a clam, a pastry, or a JJ. <laughs> All right. better than Hyrule Warriors? All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I if I would get that. It depends if I can find it. <laughs> Listen, I'm cheap, guys. And my my like I kind of want to play it, but like my kind of wanting to play it is like a $20 mark right now. I don't think I would pay any more than that. I don't think the Switch game's ever going to go down that price range. I just really haven't been in the mood to play a Dynasty Warriors game in a while. But story-wise, it would be good to know the story of Breath of the Wild before you play Age of Calamity. Well, that's true. If I don't want to play Breath of the Wild, that, that's the only case. As long unless. Age of Calamity has, like, a different and isn't the same as Breath of the Wild when it comes to weapon system. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have any problem with people being excited for it. It's just, you know, it really is not my <laughs> cup of tea. I don't, I'm not really excited for it at all. Uh, Like, lore is lore, and it's, like, it's kind of cool. But, like, Zelda lore is, it is what it is. I think what it came down to is I was super excited for Breath of the Wild and the immense, like, oh, I'm not having fun was so bad that I don't, like, I think my body's just like, ah, Ryan, don't even, don't, 
Don't get hyped for something that probably you're not going to enjoy. Yeah, I recommend watching Fluffy explain the differences. I don't know how to explain it very well. Listen, Fluffy's fantastic. I love Fluffy. Oh, yeah, let's go see where our new duck is. I've been sitting here like an imbecile when I could have been getting free duck timeage in. Uh, the story of a in Age of Calamity just don't hit if you don't uh, know Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Thing is, I wouldn't play it anyways if, because I'm somebody who has to play or beat the first one before, play before playing the second one. So anyways, I don't know. Uh, it is what it is. I probably would just skip it. I've, I've got so many games to play, and even though I'm a huge Zelda fan, I just uh, I don't really have any desire to play the game. All right, come on. Come on. What I do desire is more ducks. Because this is the kind of gameplay I love. Because <laughs> I can get things like Green Weenus. I'm glad we can live on the legacy of Green Weenus, even though we never used him. All right, come on. Come on, baby. He's coming soon. Andrew Duckler. Greg! It was Greg! Greg is back of food is back. Huzzah! Greg was never back of food, but Greg is back! Woo! Fantastic. We got our good boy Greg back. It was old Greg. Well, there, he, there goes Dale again. All right. Well, that's another old one we we're missing. Oh, boys. Anyone who's new, I don't know if you saw the newest duck. Let's see if I can find him. We got before stream because it may be on top 10 list of great ducks. Do you boys see him? I'm blind as a bat, so you probably see him and I don't. I don't see him at all. Man, I'm blind as a fucking bat, so there's... <laughs> it's not big of a surprise. There he is! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! He's a duck with a pizza on his head. Pizza duck! Pizza duck! He's a goddamn pizza duck! Pizza duck! Pizza duck! He is the greatest pizza duck. Pizza duck. Pizza duck. P P P P pizza duck. I want to name him Peter Pizza Duck. Can we name him Peter Pizza Duck? So it's a fusion of Pizza Time Peter and uh, come on, Peter Pizza Duck. Peter Pizza Duck. Peter Pizza Duck. Peter Pizza Duck. We're doing it. Guys, Peter Pizza Duck or Peter Pizza Time? Guys, which one? Peter Pizza Duck or Peter Pizza Time? I went too far. Peter Pizza Peter Pizza Duck, Peter Pizza Time. Peter Pizza Duck, Peter Pizza Time. Ooh. You know what? We're just going to call him Peter Pizza for now. Peter Pizza. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Bobo, do me a favor. I want you to put a poll. Peter Pizza, Peter Pizza time, Peter Pizza duck. I'll let you guys vote upon it. Why is the water, like, gone? Hello? Oh, there it is. <laughs> we found the water. What duck just pooped in the pool is probably the, uh, the Ruska doll? Ruska doll? Her. She pops and has babies because she's, she's got a duck inside the duck inside the duck. Tony Pizza from Mortuary System. <laughs> oh, the water was brown? That's Steve. Steve always has to uh, give all of his dirt off. This is Steve. This is the one that always is dirty and then turns into a mallard duck. Don't know. Don't know if mallard ducks get dirty to, like, camouflage or something. But Steve does.
Can you send me all the names in chat? <laughs> Peter, pizza. Peter, pizza, duck. Peter, pizza, duck. Oh, it's pizza time. There. I may have spelt it wrong, but you know what I mean. I'm not sure. I kind of did it quick. Bobo is old. Be patient, Ryan. <laughs> so I was going to say with Breath of the Wild... Uh, at some point, I do want to try to play Breath of the Wild on stream. I don't know how that would go. I'm kind of nervous to do that. I wanted to do it, but then I'm like, what if I really don't like it? And then it's just going to be me complaining the whole time. But also, at the same time, it might be a stream where I actually end up enjoying it. Because, I, you know, I don't have to really think. I'm just about having fun. I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's showing off Peter Pizza. Peter Pizza time, duck, Peter Pizza. It's up for chat to decide. So the next stream will either be the um, the Lego stream and we build this this big mech alloyed or uh, I want to do either the Super Mario 64 idea where I try to collect all the stars. I wanted to do that for a while. I don't know if anyone else would give a shit about that. I might do a poll. People don't want it. I don't know. <laughs> Warning, I will be big horny for Sharky Prince. You're not the only one, Shinzo. Lots of people like it. We'll be respectable about it. No, you won't. I mean, maybe you will, Ander. But I can't. <laughs> At some point, if I do a... Well, also, here's the other thing, right? Right? I would do it for you guys. But also, like, if people go, Oh, man, I want to see this guy play this game. And he goes in. It's just me being like, I don't like the weapons. People are, you know... I don't know. I'm still trying to get new people to join the stream. But, I mean, most most new people do not come back. Sadly. Don't worry, I'm horny for his sister. I think I know what you're talking about, too. How do I participate in marble races? Don't worry about that, suspicious cabbage. Whenever we do uh, marbles, you'll see. You just got to do uh, explanation point something. Uh, just copy exactly what everyone's saying and you can join it. But, you know, this is ducks. <laughs> so it doesn't work very much. Ryan, where Morbius? Morbius has disappeared from the void. Oh my gosh, it's 522 already. All right, we're probably going to do some show and tell in a sec. I want another duck, though. Peter Pizza Time it is. Peter Pizza Time has won. Congratulations, Peter Pizza Time. Peter Pizza Time. It's officially named. All right, give me a new duck. Newer duck. Come on, buddy. My mission to get all 100 ducks will fucking happen. I'm going to be honest, boys. I am really hot right now. It, the heat has been increasing, boys. All right. It's coming. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. The winter weather is coming. Santa Claus is about to give us a new duck. Watch. It's going to be fucking Santa. Come on. Come on, baby. 
We want duck. We want duck. We want duck. We want duck. I saw you ditto. Don't blackface like that. What is wrong with you? Come on. It's... It's a new one. We got a new duck, boys. We got... Is that a bull? <laughs> we got a bull! He's a little black... Wait, is he a bull or a demon, though? Is there, a, like... No, there's black bulls, right? Think of the the. <laughs> God, that's a sad. It's it's there's Ryan. This is a landfill. What you're saying right now. Uh. But anyways, yeah, it's it's a bull. Devil duck. I kind of wish he went brrr or something like that, like a bull noise. All right, what we got? Oh, another common. It's another common on the uh, the new DLC. This means we are only missing one, two, three. Three commons. There are only three commons we're missing, and then we've gotten every common there is to get. Uh, and then, then the game has to forcefully give me all the rares and ultra rares, you son of a bitch. You have to. By law, you have to. Call him Buck? Oh. Oh. Beelzebub Duck? That's a good one, too. Devil Duck. Bullshite. Bull. Ferdinand the Duck. Ooh. Venus. <laughs> Midnight always has to... Um... We can call him Buck Shit. We want to fuse two together. Steak. Oh, hey, Pie Man. What's up, buddy? What you saying about? Beef. <gasps> Buck Beef? Ooh, should we name him Buck Beef? That's a good fusion right there. Oh, she just gave birth. I, could, I heard the pop. Whoa! 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 That's fucking great. It's because he's red. <laughs> oh, you fantastic. Oh, that's great. What a good little touch. He's going to hate red guy for all eternity. Go in the pool, you crazy psycho. He's going to fuck Tifa. Uh-oh, Tifa's in danger. Tifa's in danger. He's going to blast Tifa. All right, you know what? I'm calling him Buck Beef. We're putting two together. I like the name Buck Beef. All right, welcome. Buck Beef. That is your name. Welcome to the team, Buck Beef. Oh, 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 he's getting ready. He's, he's, he's fucking, he wants it. He wants that taste of death by Tifa. Oh, oh, he's thinking, he's thinking otherwise. Tifa, get out of there. Tifa, get out of there. He will slam and rip your head off. Man, wouldn't that be sad if we watch Buck Beef, like, delete Tifa from existence? Buck Beef would be the ultimate enemy. <laughs> Beef Buck Duck? Ooh, that's a good one, too. I, I like the simpleness of Buck Beef. There's the baby ones. Oops. Flop. All right. Hold on a sec, boys. Hold on a sec. Bing bang show and a tell. Okay, so we're gonna get show and tell like this. Hold on, boys. I'm just trying to get it so I can do show and tell and watch the ducko meter. That's what I want. 
All right, I think we saw that one. I feel like we've seen this one. I want these. These look fun. I love the poke. I want the Bowser one. The Bowser one looked awesome, but that one's really expensive. Yeah, we've seen that one before. We saw that. I feel like we've seen this before. I'm, I remember this a bit. These are really cool. I, could, I would never have the patience to paint those. <gasps> I want cat. Give me cat. I need more cat. Please, Bobo, more cat, please. Uh, I made this in pottery class. It turned out good. <laughs> <laughs> Marley, it sure is. That's a good dick right there. Star? I think it's star. But it's backwards, so it's rotus. Rotus. I have no idea. Two paths? Is there really a book about that? <laughs> By Nojima, Kojima's brother? Where there is no no there is no Jima. None. Whoa, these are really cool little figures. I would never collect them, they're just too tiny. I'm not a big uh, guy in tininess. Whoa! Uh, by the way, one's a super medic priest and super space wizard. You know, I've said this before. I've thought about getting into that world. But I don't know. I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. I do not have the patience for lore anymore. And I feel like you got to be someone, like, really hungry for some lore. I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty lored out. <laughs> like, I like a good lore, right? But, like, I've seen the lore. And that's, like, I feel like I gotta read a book that big to really, truly understand what the fuck's going on in that world. So, I get why people like it. I just don't think I have the patience for it. Plus, you guys know how I am about reading. But, dude, let's look at this fucking head. Yo, that's so cool. I've been working on this Metal Dragon build kit uh, all week, and this is what I've got so far. And that's only part of it? Damn, Derby, that's cool. I like that a lot. POV, you are eating a banana at my house. <laughs> is he crying? No. Oh, my gosh. This boy salivating for some nanners. Damn, that boy needs some nanners. Look into his eyes. He needs that nanners. Or she. Could be either or. Midnight. Just got my V-Day Luna uh, standee. God dang, she's sassy as fuck. Look how damn sassy she is on that side. I'm not a big fan of these stand -up. I'm not a big fan of like, the long plastic out of it, but they are pretty cool. I can't really say anything as somebody who has Funko Pops in his background. Uh see here we've got uh, another one I know I've been posting a lot of models here but this is my favorite so far Woo! that shield's pretty cool that shield is pretty dang cool all right duck time time to show off some ducks time to show off the real show and tell around here I've lost Chad again hold on Shunk. Bowser's hot as fuck <laughs> Fun fact about Warhammer, one of the Chaos Gods named Korn, his number is eight, as in the number that is associated with Korn is eight. This is truly the greatest day of all. I know my allegiance. It's supposed to say rats, it's backwards, because uh, it's a stamp. Oh, okay. Rats. The rats. We're the rats. All right, it's time to get some more duckles. Need more duckos. Need more duckos. I only care about duckos. I don't have an addiction, but it's getting there. Don't worry about it. I don't have to go to Duck Anonymous. It's one of the Christmas ducks. Yes! He's back! All right, so we got three of the Christmas ducks back. 
We're finally rebuilding our Christmas empire. Of course, we have the two that we we got the three that weren't named. We didn't get any of the ones that were named. So we're missing four of the old ones. We're missing four of the old gods. All right. Well, Christmas won back. Christmas won back, boys. We're slowly making our Christmas army back. Woo! And all that stuff. Um... She got some after the video was made. Don't worry. Thank God. Hey, Ryan. We can make an arrangement for old time's sake. How about you start the stream at five now? Sounds like a pretty good trade. You know, I've thought about doing later streams a long time ago, but, like, nobody would show up. Like, everybody who's, like, who comes to my streams are mostly from Europe, and they're already on the brink of sleep. Sleepy did say once, if I dared to do late stream, she would kill me. Nope, Ryan, don't do Q, Brian. You almost did it. It was almost subconsciously went Q, Brian. Well, Pyman, I mean, you don't have to worry, bud. I mean, this, the, uh... The VOD will be up right away on on Twitch if you want to watch it. It'll all be there. I posted something in show and tell. Don't worry, we'll go right back. Bootley got yeeted out of that pipe. I meant, uh, is it? Sorry, hiccup burp. Ryan, start a 3 a.m. stream. <laughs> Get cursed? Hell no. Did I? Does sound like me. <laughs> That's what I, I think that was around the Majora's Mask stream that you threatened me with that. All right. Enough of your nonsense. I need more. I need more show and tell. Let's look here. Midnight at a hockey game. Very Canadian. Living the Canadian dream right here. We can see the Canadian inside. The blood on the stands is all Canadian. Uh, at my local team game, almost feel uh, claustrophobic here because how big the arena is in L.A. <laughs> no clue. I went to... Last I went was a wrestling event where... Everyone's crammed together because they want the cameras to look good. And they won. Hooray! Wildcats brand, <laughs> breast, <laughs> breast cancer awareness team. Let's go. I might have gotten an addiction to VTubers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He's gone deep into the, the pool. I mean, I would be willing to try a stream that isn't for Europe, but I really think the stream will do terrible. Most of the people who actually, like, go to the streams and enjoy the stream content are people from Europe. I've already, like, Americans don't like me. I've come to a conclusion. <laughs> like, I, it's surprising how little Americans watch my content, and it's mostly people outside of America. I mean, even the people who aren't American, we've got a Canadian and someone from Mexico. Actually, I don't know. Shinzo, are you from, are you in Mexico or are you in, um, just like an area with, uh, like a, I should just put it this way. Are you just in a Mexican home in America? I, I, I just kind of assumed you were from Mexico because I think I remember correctly your donation was in Mexican currency. I'm American. I like you. <laughs> I know you are, Imperial Officer. Derp Bird, there's another person who's American. The large majority of people are from Europe. I don't like you. <laughs> Typical Germans. Da -da 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 
Anyways, all right, let's do another show and tell, boys. Woo! You got the wings on that sucker? Oh, dude, those wings look awesome. Ye, I'm in Mexico towards the border, but yeah, the state named... I've never heard of that. <laughs> I thought you were... Uh, I read the C and thought California, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know how to say that at all. chi hu hu chi hu hu chi hu ha No, I have no... I, I'm not, I'm not going to butcher it anymore. <gasps> My cat lazing about before I woke her up, and she went sonic upstairs. Oh, look at that little cute ball. That's a cute puff ball right there. That's a puff ball of cuteness. Oh, this is what you were telling me about, Imperial, uh, yeah, Imperial Officer. The famous Lego of Mountain Dew. Congratulations on getting that legendary Mountain Dew. That does look like a cool set. How many pieces? How many pieces? Is that literally the exact same? Nope, you've got two more pieces than me. Congratulations, Imperial Officer. You have won. You beat me by two pieces. <laughs> but that's a cool set. I would get that one. Mm, I've lost it. Get out of here. Yay. Sorry. Right. I'm not looking at cat. I promise. I'm not looking at more cat. Ooh, what is that, Imperial Officer? Oh, I'm hungry. I can see anything at all. Oh. At the theaters. Going to the Mario movie, babe. What are those? Why do you have buckets? What are the buckets for? Is that when you vomit after seeing a good movie or have to take a shit? Is that a shit bucket? You got a shit bucket? Am I getting a new guy or? Yeah, he's, he's dropping nerd. Oh, so it is random. Yes. What? Okay. Alright, everybody. It's time for me to go. Dinner is ready. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm gonna wait till a duck comes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, boys? Anyways. No, I will not buy you food. I'm broke. <laughs> Those are child seats? What? Not where I live. Children gotta live on their own. You're lucky. You, if you ask kindly, you can have, uh, you can have maybe a chance to sit in a seat. Otherwise, some guy beats you up. Look at the dogs on Google Images. All right, I will. I'll check it out. Wait, it's not Chihuahua, is it? Did I do something stupid and just <laughs> not realize what it was? I'm very dumb and I can't read worth a shit. Yes. Oh, okay, so I was right. <gasps> Blimby! Man, we really are. Well, welcome back, Blimby. <laughs> welcome back, Blimby. Instantly comes back, lights on fire. All right, anyway, everybody. We've got more ducks. We will get all the ducks. We finally hit the 60s. We're in the 60 ducks. I shall go. Hello, Rex Crafter. Goodbye, Rex Crafter. Have a good one, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. I hit exit on that as if that's...